¿Qué huele pelados? My Grito Parques Network les presenta. Watch it. But I see a lot of paisitas talk like that too. Right? Yeah, se pega. Yeah. Se pega yeah. se madre because. Uh -huh. eh. Yeah, there's some weird shit out there, huh, bro? Like yeah. words that we use that, uh, like, paisitas are like, what the fuck are they talking about? But they, like, <clears throat> ¿cuál es una way? Like, <clears throat> troca is theirs, right? Trocas is. La troquita. No, la, troca is not theirs. That's camioneta. Yeah. Pero. La troca, yeah, la troca uh, was, uh, I think it was fucking uh, ch Chicano slang or like fucking, I don't know, pinche paisa slang. Because I know, I know they're, the vans, they refer to them, some of them as panel, la yeah. panel, the la five panel, panel. Uh -huh. yeah. la panel. And then, um, like, I remember my aunt, they used to buy shit from like yard sales in Salem and Tijuana. And then she would show off something and she would be like, oh, yeah, I remember as a kid, she'd be like, oh, yeah, esta es madre inusa. 
And I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like made in the USA, but I mean, who am I to correct them? I was like seven or eight. That would have been a fucking bocoso. Yeah, he creído. was too busy chupando. No te metas en conversaciones de adultos. He was too busy chupando el dedo gordo, güey. El, el, el pulgar. El pulgar. El pulgar. <laughs> <laughs> so, ¿tiene aire, güey? Why is it called pulgar? <laughs> I don't know, güey. I mean, I didn't, I didn't name it. I just... Uh, people I just, listening to this are like, what the fuck are they talking about? Should we include yeah. them? Yeah, yeah like... <laughs> <laughs> nah, they want to get included. They got to get their Patreon subscription. Oh, shit. Nah, sorry, this is a guys. Patreon conversation. Heard, I try to include you guys, but these guys are fucking capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> right away. Especially Ramon. Wey. Ramon's all about the dollar dollars. <laughs> dollar dollar bill, yeah. <laughs> and the trips. He wants trips. <laughs> Cash rules everything around Event me. Event and Crip. trips. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon's the kind of guy that I don't want him ruining the lotto, way because I don't know what's going to happen to this fucking <laughs> Me pelo, I'm like, late. Especially now that we know it's a, this is his last fucking rodeo at yeah. life. <laughs> I'm out of here. He'll go crazy, dude. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. <him. laughs> what does the guy say? Bitches in cocaine, or what is it? Hookers oh, in cocaine? Yeah. yeah, the lady, the <laughs> reporter, they were playing like, I think it was like the power bar or some shit. I forget what city or town. And then the lady's like uh, interviewing people that are playing the, the power bar. And some, she gets a dude, hey, so what are you going to do if you win? I'm going to get fucking bitches in cocaine or some shit like oh, that. Hookers in cocaine. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I guess a man that knows exactly what he wants. That's funny, huh, bro. <laughs> like, even that way, like, what the fuck? Like, we're adults, way. Right? It's kind of weird that we get censored, you know? Like, come on. It's a susta, I don't know. I, mean, I guess kid, you're not expecting Well, that. kids probably listening to But if you hear kids talking, where if I used to live by a fucking junior high years back. And sometimes you hear their banter in the alleyway. These fucking kids talk worse They're than... They're fucking this, savages. I'm talking about seven, eight graders. I'm sure elementary kids are the same way, where Some of them, right? But these kids, where you would hear them talk, you're like, God, dude, is that really what they talk about? Yeah, in la casa, ay, mi angelito. No wonder, no wonder I didn't get laid as a teen. Wait, I was talking about dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hablando de, de fucking being teens and everything growing up, I fucking, the other day, me cayó a, a, a word or not a word, an expression we used to use. Remember, like, oh, it's about those all GQ. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit! I don't know where that fucking. Well, G- GQ is uh, the magazine. It's a magazine, yeah. Yeah, but you know, but uh, we started using like, let's throw out this all GQ, eh? GQ out, yeah. That was like a newer thing, though. You know, I don't remember that really being like. Uh, I remember there, hearing there, it a lot. There was a lot of those way yeah. parecidones así. Yeah. Fucking, I check out this GQ over here. Um, you know, Ramon has his nostalgia, bro. Yeah, no, this guy. It comes in, and you know, in phases, uh, <laughs> random. At random moments, too. Your little thoughts? I think it's when you're taking a shit, where this is when all this thing fucking... <laughs> you, like, you start Googling, what's a what, thumb? What what's do you call a thumb, thumb in Spanish? <laughs> thumb in Spanish. I mean, sometimes sometimes the right edible for me, where or the right, like, fucking... <laughs> dude, the other day, I got fucking... I was, I was like, in another fucking... In, in another está, galaxy, bro. <laughs> I was... This is how much in another galaxy I was, dick. I started Googling... How to how to start a frozen burrito business? <laughs> <laughs> like how random is that? <laughs> Wait, we haven't even built the fucking the parking lot. <laughs> but, You're already venturing, huh? It's because I was looking at uh, the other day I was going through Ralph's trying to get some water, and I went through the fucking the, the frozen the section. frozen, and I looked, and I was like. Dude, burritos are fucking lagging, bro. They need to like they, they need, need to, some. They, they need, need to that spice it up. Oomph, that uh-huh. like it's getting a little bland. And then uh, I got home, fucking, and then I'm like, fucking on Google way, fucking barely fucking being able to type how to start a fucking frozen burrito business. And then my head, I'm like, this is random or what? <laughs> like, You're like, fuck like if yeah. I go to Google Analytics, I'm probably the only person that's ever Googled that way. <laughs> it's like fucking. It was weird. I wonder how much of those fucking fucking stoner um, searches are out there. Yeah, yeah. There's probably a database somewhere. Way I mean, everything gets tracked. Way it's like I remember uh, when I was selling on eBay. There was a there was a software that you would use that was called Fat Fingers. Have you guys ever heard of Fat Fingers? No. It's like um. El pulgar. It's, yeah. Los pulgares. <laughs> no. Um. It it was a. I think it was a software that that you could integrate it into your your eBay. Um. I think it was like a monthly thing, if I'm not mistaken. Way, but. It's called Fat Fingers because it, it would it would search like let's say you wanted like Red Wings, you would put Red Wings on this on this pro on the software and it would it would search uh, eBay for Red Wings misspelled. That's why it's called Fat Fingers. So you would get listings, you would get cheap shit for cheap because nobody was looking at them because they spelled Red Wings wrong. 
So it gave you like like all the different combinations of how you can spell Red Wings wrong, and then you would see these listings like that people fucking would put like Red Wings, you'd like dumb shit away, and then they were cheap and nobody was bidding on them because who's finding them? We only people that were in this. Fucking software. So you had a mistake. Imagine if your tia went to the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> she went into the digital platform and she's. Madre en el Ma, Madre en USA. Madre en USA. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. No se me vende nada. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Estas chingaderas no se. Uh, like, no sale con eBay. Red wings. <laughs> red wings. <laughs> You'd be surprised, like Jordan. You'd be surprised how people spell shit where it's fucking funny. Uh, uh, Tráeme el, el Raven. <laughs> el Raven. Yeah, it's shitting on my people. Wait. You're shitting on my ancestors, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <he> started it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fucking writing the to- coattails, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, okay. no, it was funny, man. Yeah. yeah, but people, you know, that like, like I've been, I've been trying to stack my shit up, my tools and all that shit. Wait, so I hit up some dudes on, la panel? on offer up. And um, hey, dude, there's people fucking making a killing on offer up where I, I didn't realize there was ratings way because the last time I used it, there was no ratings. It was just kind of like a peer to peer thing where I'll, I'll sell for any of this and he'll buy it and that's it. But now <laughs> a tenth of coffee. But but now <laughs> hey, it's celebrity owned, bro. So I found it because he misspelled it. Way. <laughs> he found it because of my fat fingers. But uh, but now they like when I bought the item. I guess the guy marked it as sold, and all of a sudden I got a notification from Offer Up to review, and I was like, "Wait, this is how this works now? Like, it was, it was all new to me, way." But I, uh, if you go on Offer Up, where there's people fucking selling all kind of shit. Where, well, I saw a pinchy, um I think it was a while back. It wasn't recent, way, but I, I saw fucking even our compa. <laughs> <laughs> we love to hate when Pinchy Gary V mm-hmm. apparently was buying toys at like yard sales <laughs> to flip them. También. Oh yeah, he's been doing that for years, man. Because <laughs> he, he'll be buying. What was it? He, he had something where he goes, "Fucking check it out, bro! I bought it for a dollar, little juguetito." He goes, and then he, they show you like the little eBay listings that they're going for for like eighteen bucks, or whatever. He goes, "See, I just turned a dollar into eighteen bucks." And he just chucks it in the back of his car. <laughs> yeah, he he used to do that. Hey, but you know what, bro? Like that was a while ago, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't know if he yeah, still well, he does still, that. He still does that way. He still does like those like thrifting videos, but. And sometimes he has challenges where he'll tell people, like, let's see who can make 10 grand this year. And then he'll do, like, he'll gamify it and then just have people's names put out there, the ones that win. But you, you know what, bro? That's a real thing where, like, I don't remember who I was. Or maybe it was here I was saying this way. But, you know, you could you could see a check where, uh, let's say, for the sake of this conversation, a $3,000 every two weeks check. And you're like, yeah, it's $3,000. At, at, at one point, you're like. It's just money that I know it's going to come in every two weeks. But wait, mm, t- buying something for a dollar and selling it for five, making those four dollars feels way better. Making four dollars feels way better than a fucking three thousand dollar every two weeks check. Because, you mean like your normal like work check? Yeah, you? because you're you something about I bought this for this and the they gave up. me that. Yeah, something about that way is it's like come up that little come up high. Something about that is like way more fucking um, <laughs> rewarding. <way. laughs> about el cabrón, like wait. Fucking, I show up to work in my bag and go, no hago nada, güey. Well, that's the 80% <laughs> of the fucking employees. No right? hago nada, cabrón. El, yeah. el, um, well, there, there's a whole new little trend. No, I, I just saw, I think it was yesterday, güey. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama la? Fuck. Uh, silent quit? No, quiet quitting. You haven't seen that shit? No, what is that, güey? Apparently, that's a, it's a new thing with the fucking chiquillos, güey. That, that uh, doesn't mean you quit, quit, but you stop doing more than like, you don't go above and beyond, please. Like, you just, you do your fucking, you do your eight hours, isas. I, I mentioned that uh, a shit. few months ago, wait, but it was the the people that had three jobs, three full-time the jobs. Yeah. Three, three full-time. Yeah, well, let me. Yeah. Uh, the people See, Ramon. That, yeah, this is fucking. <laughs> See, Ramon. Oh, it feels are, good not you, being the one called out. You guys are right on it, wait. Let me finish my story, wait. It was, um, these people have like three full-time jobs, wait, and then they don't, they don't really do enough to like get a promotion. They just do barely enough to get by, and then they're working three full-time jobs, wait. I mean, I would do that more than what you're doing, wait, because, I mean, you're just making a, a fucking, to me, that's not rewarding. I don't know how people feel proud of themselves not doing shit and getting money for it, wait. That's, well, no, no, that, that's what I'm saying. It's not, that's what I'm saying. It's not that quiet, way. Quiet quit. It's the opposite of what you're saying where they're, they're okay, they know that they can, they do this much and they still have time and I can do another two hollas. 
So they're hustling, pues. So it's the opposite of that, that hustle, pues. I, I mean, I'm not saying they're not, they're not really hustling though. Way they're that, just they're no, just getting saying. make getting enough that they're not they're not promoted, but they're not getting fired. I mean, well, that's not hustling. Right? I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's the opposite of that hustle mentality. It's the, the it's the, literally the opposite. So they do just enough not to get fired, pues. It's the same thing, man. How's that the opposite? It's like they don't want they don't want to get promoted. No, they don't want more no. work. They just want enough to like just get y- by. Yeah, but those other guys are going out. They're, do, they're doing it so they they do three jobs at a time so they can fucking make bank. They're hustling, except they're doing it in three jobs. So they, obviously they can't go above and beyond in every jale because they're going to get burned out. Yeah. These people, so they don't get burned out on their one jale, don't go above or beyond. Don't do anything more, anything special, pues. They, just enough to stay fucking like under the radar, pues. Just enough to not to get fired. And it's it, it's the opposite in the sense, pues, que the idea is... is like the the idea, pues, supuestamente is that you go home at five, pues. Like if you have kids or you have, you want to go out and fucking party or kids eat at a bar with los friends or I mean that, con la familia. Like like you you turn off your work phone at five, the pinchy laptop turns off at five. Like if you're working from home, you're like, unreachable. Yeah, after. you're you're done. Like from you you're only at work from the time you're supposed to be, pues. If it's my lunch time, pinchy phones off, pinchy laptops off, type of shit. Like you only do the the bare minimum. That's been going on for years, where it's just now it just got a label. Like, yeah, no, that, that's yeah. been going on since we were kids, where I mean, there's always been somebody that, in, the, the start. In, the, in the in the in the fucking there's, at work. There's always been that person. Ah, wait, don't do it like that. Like, nah, just do it like this, bro. Like, you just do the it's minimum. It's just now now everything's getting a label, where, but it's, so it's not a muchacho thing. It's fucking people our age too. Where it's people older than us. <laughs> well, if anything, if you think about it, uh, they might be doing this because the parents, which are maybe our age, told them like, "Hey, no guys, the mask out on." I look at where it got me. My, I don't know if it, my it? chick, my chicken has a friend. She's fucking lazy, bro. And she, she, she had, she has the opportunity. Her family got her into working at the docks, and she never fucking goes to work. Where, and I'm like, dude. I uh, like 20 years ago or fucking 15 years ago when they opened up the there was on the LA Times there was an article where yeah. we're opening up fucking sign up I signed up because we all know how fucking you want to work yeah. at the docks Yes, Tamora had everything given to her and she she just fucking goes to work to make money to drink and to fucking buy drugs that's all that's all that she she has that job for and it's like fuck wait, how many people wish they had that fucking opportunity way to fucking coke and hose that's it way <laughs> basically way coke and hose i mean these these some of these fucking people are living some she thought i'm not gonna put her on blast on this pocket way, but some of these stories that this chick gets herself into i'm like fuck wait, oh, now i'm curious dude this shit that it's, it'll piss you off way. it's like why are you doing that to yourself way? like what the fuck then you talk shit about guys being dicks and this and that and you're fucking putting yourself in these situations. It's, it's like frustrating. I don't even know this chick, way, and I get fucking frustrated uh, yeah, when she's yeah, telling me get, the stories. Yeah. Like, why is she doing that? Like, but it's people that you know they 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 have it made way. They get they get everything handed to them. The grandparents take care of them. They don't pay rent. Grandparents. She goes. She gets drunk. Loses her phone. She loses like four or five phones every year. No lie, way. Shit. And her grandparent always fucking. It plus these phones have like nudes of her in their way. And she has like all these fucking pictures that she sends to all these different people. And then she loses her fucking phone because she gets drunk or she lets somebody borrow it. And then she forgets who she gave it to. And then these pe- these pictures, I mean, I'm sure they get passed around when it's just shit like that. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Where? But I mean, when I think about it, it, it comes down to her always having that cushion where they never let her fall into rock bottom when there's always that cushion. She crashes her car. They get her a new one. Um, she gets a job at the dock so she can go whenever she wants. And she fucking makes like 45 bucks an hour away when she works there. What the fuck? But she fucking doesn't want to work. <laughs> she only wants to work when she wants to get fucked up with. What's, what's, do you know her age? She's 27, 28. Okay. I mean, she's already fucking at, at that point where it's like, wait, I mean, it's already, you're going to hit your She's 30s. still, she's still coasting away, but it's, yeah. it's starting to, it's, it, that, you can that see curve. that, you can see the little fucking <laughs> yeah. peaks coming out. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the hill, just, you know, you see it. Well, ya, ya lo puedes ver. Yeah, but some people, fuck, I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know what it is, where. Ah. But like like that way, like what you're saying, Fernie, like um, doing enough. I don't know why. And then people wonder why their lives aren't fulfilled and they're not satisfied. We're like, you're not, you're not doing anything that's going to bring a rewarding way. Like even the money that you're making, you're not really earning it. So like, 
pues también tiene no, que ver. Donde el cable, dale, güey. I think it's kind of due también where, like, como dices, they, they get everything handy. They don't see, they don't grow up wanting or, or wishing they had it different or, or even, como se dice, wanting to help the family, you know, make it ahead. Because, I mean, I'm sure where we were growing up, you're like, fuck it, I'm going to get a job. We're going to have fucking carne every fucking Friday. Or vamos Ay, a comer wey. esto. Or like, my mom doesn't have to do this anymore. Or, you know, fucking my sisters don't have to struggle with that. Like, fucking if you start working and you start helping out, maybe that's the motivation that you got. And it kind of puts you in a different mindset. But I, I don't think, like, fucking, I don't think it did. Like, the, the, the mindset, I think, is more, um, como te lo explico? I, I don't, it doesn't mean, tampoco, it doesn't mean that they're fucking, they're not making good money, pues, you know? It, they, they, it could be a fucking nice hallway, fucking office job, whatever, but then let's pay on chingon. You know, it doesn't mean they're fucking making minimum wage type of shit, which I'm, I'm sure that I mean that, that, that that's in there too, but it goes across the spectrum. But I think it's more of the, the, the like fucking, like what we fucking ended up fucking, we got in our heads, we que, it's not all about work, porque trabajamos un chingo allá en el otro hallway, right? Yeah. Where you're like, dude, I'm never home, fucking llego, yeah, fucking everybody's going to bed type of shit. I don't see anybody fucking pinchy life sucks. So it's kind of the opposite of that. Pues. Instead, I go to my work. I do my work. I do just enough work for like the lo que me pagas, güey. Porque if I, if I go past, pues, there's some jobs, Gabbas, they take advantage. Yeah, they take advantage. Not to get pagar all over time. So, and... so to them, it, it, it could be that, como, that they value the other half, pues. They don't, they, they don't get fulfilled, pues, by the job as much as they get fulfilled, pues, by being at home or, or it, being with their family or their friends, pues. It's that so phrase. It, it is a different mindset, live. but it doesn't necessarily have to be a like that negative, pues, que they don't get fulfilled because they're not they're not doing enough at work. Because I mean, I, la neta, it sounds nice, way, pero in practice, a mí no me sale porque even at the other job, we had people, pues, that went home on time, way. They're like, fuck that, and they leave everything hanging, way. Les valió y se pelaban. Somebody will be back tomorrow. Yeah, and, and yo todavía ya pinche chambeando until like fucking nine, you know? Yeah, those are, those are the people that litter because somebody's, somebody's job is to pick this up. I'm like, ah, that's a shitty fucking mindset, way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, I like that idea, but in practice, I know that that's not me, pues. Like, no me sale. But, I mean, I like the idea that you fucking, yeah, I'd rather spend time with my kids, pues, than to fucking be working overtime. Or but whatever. is it really spending time with kids, where is it fucking time on TikTok, where I mean, it's really important to, like, really utilize that time. I mean, I feel like most people... Don't utilize that time properly. And then, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's about being happy with your life, Wade. So if you're not doing anything with that time, I mean, you're not really getting ahead, Wade. You, 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 think, you think you found a glitch in the fucking matrix and you're, you found a little loophole, but you're really not getting ahead, Wade. It's important to, to really use that time properly, Wade. But if you're not, you're really not getting ahead, Wade. You just think you're fucking gaming the system but you're really not and but i'm saying well, what what about people because they're, they're they're not they're not looking to get ahead because they're comfortable with their eighty thousand dollar eighty thousand dollar job a, a year you know i mean most people aren't that way you're talking about the very small minority of people that are happy like i'm, I'm talking about the the majority of people aren't what you're saying the majority of people are stressed they don't they don't use their time properly um they're 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 fucking they're not using utilizing that time to bring them fucking joy or happiness where the majority of people, but there is those, those small percentage that you're saying that, yeah, are happy. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I mean, in that percentage you're saying that are not happy, it could be that they're not happy because they're doing all this work way because their, their boss makes them stay fucking 10 hours way. You know, let's pay on those extra two hours and shit. Get a new job way. Get a different that, job. I like, mean, like it's up to you. It's, it's at the end of the day, it's your fucking responsibility to change that way. Don't, don't expect a, a corporation to do it for you, especially right now where there's, People are gonna argue about this shit all the time. Okay, there's not work. This, there's work out there. Way like if you're if you're not happy where you're at, it's your fucking choice that you're there. Way like yeah, your bills are keeping you there, but nothing's keeping you from on your times that you're at home working on your resume to try to get a better fucking job if the, or start your own fucking business. Like there's always that that choice way. Like yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. So these people, not fucking, I don't I don't know can exactly some place, but I'm saying. These people made that choice. You're saying, way they 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 said, "Fuck it, bro. I'm only giving work exactly what I need to give them, and I'm gonna spend the rest at home or in the bar playing video or, games or playing or video games. Like I look TikTok. I get this more, brings joy to me. Yeah, this brings. They made that choice, pues. So I, that's what I'm saying. 
I don't feel like we should shit on them porque they made that choice. In the long run, if that doesn't fucking put them behind or they lose that job or, or fucking lo que sea, pues that's their pedo. But they made a choice, pues, like exactly like you're saying. They they came to a conclusion que that they're not fulfilled by that job, pues, or whatever, and they'd rather be home. So at the last cinco, they clock out. I'm out, I'm out bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that'll get you to a certain de- point in life where, but there's, but, there's, but a, there's people that that's not enough where, you know I mean? It's but, just, go ahead. Wait. But I mean, Esteban, I mean, let's think about it. Like, what were we doing at 23, 24, 27? What's fucking me or just? No, in general. Like, I, I mean, I'm saying like us, the, the three of us, like, what were you doing in, in your early 20s? You're trying to figure out yourself too, right? Yeah, I was trying to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, you were trying. Yo, fucking, I was uh, married and then going through a divorce. Fucking, yeah, just trying to make sense or trying to fit that that um, that um ideal process of life. You know, like you get married, you have kids, you have a house, and then, you, you know, you have your job. You're responsible, happily ever after type of deal, you know. You're going for that. Then you realize that's not how it worked out. Fernie, what, well, how were your 20s? Perching on way. Perching on, but I mean, <laughs> did yeah. you have it figured out though? No, no, I don't I don't I know. Who many... really does way? Yeah. I mean, that's that's a that's a rare thing, right? But in retrospect, I would do the complete opposite of what this guy's saying. Like, why would I want to chill in my twenties? If if I went to go back, I would work those fifteen fucking twenty hours because I can't because I'm young. That way I retire in my mid thirties and fucking but sometimes people get good at the wrong things where we keep saying the same shit way. So for me, if I went back, I would not have that fucking mentality where oh, I'm just going to do enough. Fuck that. If I had youth um, on my side, if I was 21 right now with what I know, yeah. I would work the 15, 20 fucking hours a day because I'm young. I don't have fucking kids and then retire at 35 way because I build up. I worked in my early 20s and now I could enjoy basically fucking the rest of my life. That's what I would do. The complete opposite yeah. of that. Well, I think uh, if it's all. This whole what is it? What did you call it? It was called quitting what or S- uh, silent quote? silent quitting or quiet quitting? Oh, quiet quitting, yeah, quiet quitting. So, Pole, let's just say, and I hate to do this, right? But let's just say there is like a trauma behind that where they say, you know what, my mom and my dad were never home because they were always working and we got neglected. And I didn't, you know what, fuck that. I'm not gonna follow that footsteps. I, if I need to work or I need to because I need to, you know, pay my rent, get this, get that. I'm only working from 8 to 5.30, and that's it. But you're talking about somebody that has kids or somebody that doesn't have kids? It doesn't there's, there's have a, kids. I don't think it matters. Uh, does, I mean, it I don't does know. matter because if he's saying your parents were not at home with well, you. Maybe they didn't enjoy. I mean, if anything, like, I, I, did our parents enjoy their 20s when they had a family? I mean, where if they were working, they put in the hours. The only time they looked forward to maybe might have been the weekend. Well, let's be honest. Our parents didn't have the opportunities that we have yeah. right now. I mean, we have opportunities. Our parents didn't really have opportunities. Where. So that's really important to fucking really um, uh, acknowledge that they didn't really have opportunities. We have fucking opportunities. Where. They didn't. And so... To me, the the you're you're you what was it? What's the quiet, term? Quiet quitting. Yeah, you're mm. quitting on yourself. Where you're not quitting fucking your job. You're quitting on yourself because when you're fucking young, where you you have the energy to build and do fucking something great that you can retire in your mid thirties and then fucking silent quit or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's the everlasting regret <laughs> way. I mean, it, it, it's. It's uh, it as rite of passage or what? How many fucking sixteen year old sixty year olds would say like fuck if I was your age guys like our age right now I would do things differently I would have done this or done that you know so just estamos like if I was in my twenties I would have done no hacemos caso en el momento que nos, alguien nos da un consejo. I mean in 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 our sixties the the gap is for me the gap is bigger than the, uh, some person in my twenties so if somebody in their sixties no, were what saying forties. If somebody in their 60s was to, was to tell me that this is the way they should do it, I mean, it, it is a different world, though, where, I mean... I mean, but the, the, the principle or the, like, I mean, of course, you're not going to... Just the principle in the sense of, like, hey, fucking ahorita todavía tienes energía, fucking hustle it or, or still keep building. Don't stop until you, you know, whatever the goal is or whatever, you're, you know, the body can take or lo que sea. 
It's the same thing, you know. It's like yeah, I'm, I, I went sixty to forty, and then forty to twenty. And it also depends on the person giving you that advice. Where if, if a sixty year old is where I want to be at that age, then I'll totally listen to whatever him or her tell me. But if the sixty year old's fucking, you know, has a couple of bitches next to him with a fucking line of coke in front of him, <laughs> and he's telling me that this is what I need to do, I'm not gonna listen to that guy. Coke that's, and hose. That's not what I want. <laughs> like, so it's important to it's a, it's important to fucking really take it. If you're gonna take advice, make sure that it's by somebody that's where you want to be or kind of close to it. Because right? sometimes mm. people, I mean, just because you're sixty doesn't mean you're wise. Way right? it's just. No. Just because you're 80 doesn't mean you're what it doesn't even if you're 80, it doesn't mean you lived a long life where you existed for a long time, but Jeez. doesn't mean that you lived a long life. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true way. I know, but it's just the way it sounds. It's like like, like let's listen, way. If you're 80 and you've had the same mentality since you were 30 and you had that kind of whatever this guy's Quiet saying. Quiet quitting. Yeah. So you've been doing the same shit for 40 years. You haven't lived a long life where you've existed for a long time. Well, living, then, that, that, but that's very subjective where you can't say that way. Living a long life is, is actually living way, not not just breathing. Breathing is that, that's like um, it doesn't translate to living way. When you're 80, that doesn't mean that you've lived a long life. You've existed for a long time. It's not the same as living way. And and so it's even an 80 year old. If an 80 year old is fucking trying to give you advice and you see where they're at. And you're like, I don't know, bro. I don't want to end up where you're at. Like, I mean, I de consejos a consejos también, güey. No, that, that, that's all very yeah. subjective, güey. I mean, they could have lived. You can't a, take everybody's. No, no. Uh, no but yeah, but they could have lived a chingona life, güey. I de consejos wey. a consejos. Like, one of them can say. I'm not like, saying that they couldn't, güey. I'm just saying that just because you're 80 doesn't mean that you lived a long life. I'm not saying that that you couldn't, güey. No, I'm you not, said, for example, these these people that are doing the, the fuck, I keep forgetting, we're quiet quitting, no? I brought it up and I forget what I said. You said, like, for example, these people, pues. And I'm saying, like, they could still have lived uh, a long life, como dices. Sure, right? yeah, the, the minority, for sure. That's why it's important for what you do with that time that all of a sudden now you think you have. That's what's going to dictate if you lived a long life. If you fucking want to be at home and you're just hanging out watching TV, like, I'll tell you what, bro, you're not really going to live a long life if you're doing that for 40 years till you're 80. Eight, it being 80, living a full long life is fucking living way, experiencing shit, not just fucking coasting. Well, I'm, I'm, that's exactly. But I mean, if, if they're always working those 15 hours way and they never get out of that way, I mean, that, that's the, that's that's the same thing way. Like you don't end up living way. Yeah. I like know. I like like For even sure in, in my 20s, even looking at it back now, I wouldn't have worked more overtime as it is. I already worked. You know, even if I wouldn't have worked the overtime, I would have had enough. That I should have invested in things which I didn't. That's what I do regret that part. But I I don't regret not working more. Please. I mean the the most important investment is in yourself, way not monetary. If you invest in yourself, then you fucking I mean who gives a shit what you're investing when it comes to money? If you invested in yourself, that has a bigger reward than any fucking monetary investment you can have because investing in yourself brings you all that shit that everybody wants, way money. Fucking all that bullshit, whatever life you want to do, you have to invest in yourself first way. And if you're 80 and you never invested in yourself, utilizing that time where if you want to call it the great fucking silent quitting or whatever the fuck it's called, <laughs> but you didn't use that time properly that you were at home, like, I mean, that's not living way. But not- yeah, I mean, this could be, I mean, como, como digo, we, I don't know if it's for any of us three, but it could be in them investing in themselves, no? Yeah, I'm not saying across the board that it can't work, but you're you're concentrated on that small minority that we don't know how big it is or how. I mean, yeah, you look at the stats where people are less happy, people are making less money. I mean, you don't have to fucking. You yeah, but I'm the, on the other end, that works the same. Even if I mean, the 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 minority in any category is the ones that end up happy with. Yeah, of course, Ray. So we're we're talking we're we're talking the same thing. Ray. It's just we yeah. always we always like do this like <laughs> weird fucking dance. It's a like, podcast, bro. You gotta yeah, fucking but, but keep we're the beating, drama going. We're beating a fucking horse in the same conversation, just going back. Ray. Maybe it's I don't not, like horses. Is the horse dead? <laughs> I don't know. Ray. It depends on what, what way you look at it. <laughs> I'm fucking a. Ray. Um, but nah, depends nah. what timeline it is, bro. Uh, mm, it's just I don't know. Way. Good luck. Basically, <laughs> quiet quitting. Good, good luck, guys. Good luck with your half ass fucking life. Or against. Good you luck. Let us know. Good luck half assing your fucking life, guys. I, I, I think we're from a generation that that doesn't work for us, way better. But I kind of get where they're coming from. No, I mean, I'm saying if I was in my early 20s, I would do the complete opposite of that shit, where I would fucking really grind. 
in the right things. It goes back to what I'm saying. Sometimes you get good at the wrong things. Where even if you fucking make money that you think you're balling, you're good at something that's not that doesn't have longevity and it's not bringing you happiness. Where so what's the point? Okay, so the, for, for the sake of this conversation, I'm I'm kind of curious. Let's just say, if, if if you had the opportunity to go back, right? Would you go back and tell your 20 year old self, or would you have somebody else reach out to your 20 year old self, or how would your 20 year old self know this? Because I'm sure the 20 year old your tw- the 20 year old you was a little stubborn. También wasn't like también that impressionable. We're like, ah, eh, fuck it, whatever, you know. Well, I was kind of like this dude, and then fucking I wouldn't listen to anybody. I was always a contrarian. Like, nah, fuck that. You can't. No, nah, no, nah. that's not. That was my mentality. Yeah. Like, nah, nah. So how would how how would how would you or how would you let your 27 year or your 20 20 year old self change that mentality or, or get them to because i mean it could be a continuous circle because you could go back and you could tell them this but 20 year old esteban would be like vale, man verga. fuck that yeah of course and, and then that's fine then you say okay good luck bro i'll see you in fucking 40 years like you can't you can't change people's mentality way that's the thing is like you can give somebody your perspective and if they don't believe with you what you're saying it doesn't mean that they're wrong or you're wrong it's just it's not my job to convince him or people listening. They do whatever fuck you want. I'm just saying, for my life, that doesn't work. It, does not, it wouldn't translate. For my life, that wouldn't translate. Um, that's that's all that I'm saying. Where like, I would do the complete opposite of that. Why would I fucking want to coast in my twenties? Way that sounds ridiculous to me. Way like, it doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like it's a it's a strategy that's gonna bring me happiness in 20, 30, 40 years if I get lucky enough to make it that that age. I don't know. It's just, it's just. It's, we're, at, it's, we're at the end of our life cycle. Steps. It seems, it's, it, uh, it seems like these cutting corners, these little hacks are like. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. This is a, uh, I, I don't know how this generation thinks or goes about it. Maybe they're, they're picking up from what they saw in their parents. Maybe they're looking back and they have a lot more at their fingertips than we ever did. So maybe there is some retrospect. And at some point, they're like, you know what? Enough of doing whatever people want me to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's maybe that's the new mentality. Who knows? I mean, I give I give kudos to the new generation. Though. I mean, they're fucking hustlers, right? Like, like um, I see them wearing fucking on the most of the videos that you go on YouTube to see the people making fucking 600 bucks washing cars. They're mostly dudes in their early 20s that have their own little side hustle, their business. And that's. I mean, they're, you know, they're into fucking investing more than we are where they, they're in Bitcoin fucking stocks. They're, they're a little bit more savvy than we were. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on that generation because I know all of them aren't like that way, but, um, but there is, there is a lot of them that are fucking just crushing them. A small minority. But I mean, it, I mean, you're, you're, you're assuming pues que, cause they're quiet quitting pues que son huevones, güey. Like that, that they're just no, going no home. Way. I'm just saying it's important. Uh, that, uh, like for the fifth time, it's important what they do with that time. That's 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 what's gonna dictate if if they utilize that time properly. Then yeah, they'll get fulfilled. But if in that time that supposedly they're getting back, they're not doing things that are gonna make their lives more enjoyable. Then it's there's no point where. So that's not what I'm saying. Where I'm saying it's it's. The, the, the key details is what you do with that time that supposedly you yeah, have free now. Time, yeah. yeah, that's the key. Whatever you do with that time, then yeah, of course, you could be happy. You could, your life's rewarding. You can Go hang out with your kid. Read you can, a book, meditate. Yeah, but if you're not really fucking living way, like, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to. Join a fight club. Join a fight club and stay away. <laughs> you want to join a fight club? <laughs> I'm not laughing away. No, I'm not laughing away. I don't what, know. What, I will what, not what, handle a fucking fight club. What would be club? your street fighter name, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. El Chuleta, is Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Why? That's your finishing move? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to. Uh, somehow, somehow, if we fight, I hope you use talco because the Chuleta oh, sounds no, like my head's going to be uh, somewhere. Yeah, I, 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 I need to. I don't know if I said it last week. I need to buy a new the talquito. Yeah, you do, Wayne. Yeah. But este pinche calor, dude, I'm all like, fuck, yeah, pinche. I got the how, normally how much a ta, uh, fucking the 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 fucking pinchy bote talco will last you? 
I mean, fuck, it seems like two or three years. Right? right? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, dude, I think I've already bought one in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, I'm already like halfway. <laughs> Holy shit. And you got the Costco one way. Yeah, I got the PG. <laughs> the Super Saver one. No, way. Parezco pinche. It's the Casper, the friendly ghost, way. Sale con la pinche rata en empanizada, güey. Parece el pinche chile relleno with the batter, güey. <laughs> Little señora down there making <laughs> fucking tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> Los huevos bien batidos también. It's wey. been hot as fuck, fuck yeah, dude. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking bitch, and I'm not gonna lie, it fucking helps. I can't imagine our, our Tejano brothers and sisters and fucking other states, way how they're doing. Way Arizona here. was like, I heard 117. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know where in Arizona, but I saw somebody post up 117 on their feed he said it all pinchy donde estaba no el estado sino the little region that it was donde estaba 117 is like glowing red and everything else is like Shit. you know it's just different shades of red it, it was like puce <laughs> the, the center that's was fucking horrible no way dije what cuánto 117, ni madres, güey. My mom went to Mexicali like a month ago and it was fucking 115 out there. She oh, yes. Like, fucking, I was just thinking about that. Did you hear about all the fucking incendios that no. los, el pinche cartel estaba haciendo? Yeah, I was dealing with that mentally last week, güey, because my mom's all in that. Yeah, I heard about it. Oh, okay. She's, she, is she staying out there? Or she yeah, comes my, mom, my mom doesn't give a fuck, güey. That lady, is, it's like half children, they say, güey. I already have fucking children that stress me the fuck out, güey. <laughs> They don't listen, bro. Like, my mom's just... Eh. But, and then she'll come back. Oh, no. The noticias estaban más exageradas. Estaban calmado. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm over here fucking the, the parent at home fucking worrying, way, and she don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're way. calling her a ma, ¿dónde anda? Man, she don't care, way. Llámeme. She's saying that supposedly... Colonia the, seis de mayo. <laughs> supposedly the news was exaggerating. It wasn't even like that. I'm like, I don't know if you're just telling me that, so I won't fucking talk shit. <laughs> she should have been... She should have turned her... ¿Se acuerda? Hoy a las once. Es lo que me está pasando a mi mamá. Hoy a las once. Nah, she she doesn't. She, I don't think I don't know how your parents are away, but I, I don't think my parents realize how much I worry about them more than I think they worried about me. I mean, I can't say that way. That's not fair. But uh, I don't think they realize how much I worry about them. Worry about little shit like that, where it's like. They would worry about me going out and shit, but like this is—I don't know. This is a little bit different way. Like it's like, wait, stay home. Like, but no way. She's good luck. So like living my life. She's hustling, bro. She, she's fucking like Ramon. This is her last one, I guess. <laughs> she wants to- <laughs> no, she had kids. You know, oh, she man. had something. So apparently, her cycle continues. Oh yeah, that's true, homie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tú y yo ya nos chingamos, güey. Tú y yo. Tú y yo. Right, right. Wait, we could still get somebody pregnant in our eighties, way. <laughs> Fuck around. By Jesus. mistake, <laughs> fuck around slinging some dick in our 80s way of fucking triplets. Wow, no, my mom is triplets. Way. <laughs> I thought this was my last go around. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I already said oh, my fuck. goodbye. I, I, did, I did the silent fucking retreat or whatever this guy's saying in my party. <laughs> Why am I fucking the triplets at 85? Way? No, ah. mom is. <laughs> Maldita mis huevos <laughs> ¿Por qué Dios mío? ¿Por qué me tuviste? Oh, Ahora tal como está protected them. ¿Por qué me tuviste que hacer tan viril? <laughs> Imagine where you get somebody pregnant at 85 way. <laughs> y te quieres echar un palito on the side Just for good old time's sake And you end up with triplets <laughs> ¿Por qué no me pudiste dar agüita de coco? Dios mío <laughs> You're all confident que ya nada pescadito Nada güey, puro pinche Hey, puro at that polvo. point, would you ask for a DNA test? Because no se la crees or what? Hey, pues ¿Qué me va a hacer, güey? ¿Qué me va a hacer? Hey, but women get upset when no, you ask for a DNA test. No, I know, but what is she going to get me for fucking child support? I know, right? I'm, I'm out. Good luck, man. I got a solid Social five more security. years. Social <laughs> security. <laughs> Little do you know, I quite quit in the, in the 2020s. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy was was telling me I shit it on that but I ended up fucking silent quitting investing all that heavily I, I silent quit it at 40 and look at me now uh, what? it's quiet I would ask for a DNA way. test fuck it I don't give a fuck hey when you're 80 you could get away with shit no yeah you're so fucking I say, senile I would say nah that's not mine where's the Man, fucking test is. I pulled out I'm the pull out yeah, king yeah bullshit <laughs> <laughs> she'll tell me hey I'm pregnant with triplets bullshit I went 60 years without fucking getting anybody pregnant dude that would be fucking stressful as fuck where getting somebody pregnant at 85 where i can't even imagine what was it didn't you have to get somebody pregnant yeah 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 y
You take the kid to kinder, they're going to think you're the great grandparent? Yeah. Así me pasaba when I was a kid when my dad already had gray hairs. And uh, one time I remember in elementary school, we were doing like a... Per- oh, trajo su abuelito. Your parent-teacher kind of shit. And um, my dad couldn't find parking. And my teacher said, oh, tell your grandpa he could park in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they got handicapped over there. It was like 34 and shit. Like, oh, shit. And I was a kid, where Yeah. But um, yeah, no está cabrón, güey. Yeah, fuck that. Imagine getting... Some, well, it wasn't like... Uh, well, no, I said we didn't have So remember uh, Anna Nicole Smith? She was with like some fucking... Oh, oil type... What, uh, Texas oil tycoon or something? He was like in his in 90s or yeah. something, right? Yeah, he was like, he was petateado. That's Not that. pendeja tampoco. <laughs> pues, I, mean. I mean, come on. <laughs> eh, maybe que dos o tres pinches revolcadas para que... I mean, if you had... And a, maybe en una de esas se muere el cabrón. I'm not going to put this on your, your story, way, but let's say we had a friend that their dad fucking was messing around with some girl and he had money. I think we would worry about it, no? I mean, it's not like, oh, let him be happy. Let him fucking enjoy his oh, life. Yeah. I think it's one of those things where you have oh, to yeah, be esta like. Ca- esta pinche. Esta Ana Neco no me va a bajar mi pinche herencia. That's how they think, way. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, let's be honest, way. There's people that are out there waiting for their parents to die, way, just so they can fucking. Take control over the house and shit like that. Right? I mean, yeah, but también ya los ochentas dices, estos cabrones pinches viuras, they've been leeching off of me. They should be okay. They got their money. They made their money. Whatever. This is, yeah, aquí voy a petatear. Aquí voy a, yeah, voy a chingar a mi madre. Let me go out with what I want. Let me do what what I want. Yeah, I think Shaq, where he, he publicly says that this is my money. It's not my kid's money. Like, he he talks publicly about like that. It's his money way. Like they need to make their own fucking money. También el de Microsoft. ¿Cómo se llama este? Bill Gates. Bill no? Gates. And Bill Gates. Unless, uh, yeah, he's, he said he was going to give away half of it, and then I think fucking ya yeah, dijo que no. Pues les va a dejar like their their. Yeah, they're still going to fucking do well way. Yeah. Pero but, no les no les va a dejar fucking. I think Buffett too. Uh, uh, Warren Buffett. He's part Buffett. of that pledge that he's going to give all. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. I was going to say Jimmy <laughs> Buffett. <laughs> Warren Buffett. I think. P. I think he said the same thing, man. Like yeah. he's gonna he's gonna give his kids enough that they don't fucking are hurting, but not enough that they're like privileged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make your own fucking money. I think that's the way to go, no? I don't know. Eh? I think it's a I mean it's just it's a, it's a different world that I don't understand. Where to have rich parents, I don't know what that is, way. Eh? I mean it sounds cool when you think about it on paper, but I don't know if it's really that cool, way. Eh? I mean, I don't know, way. Eh? But it's one of those things where, like, let me deal with it. Let me figure it out <laughs> on my own. Don't tell me that that's not what I want. Like, it's it's one of those things, way. But pues yeah, ya están. Yeah, pues cuando están viejitos, let them do what they want. That's that's their thing. That's their joy. That's their pleasure. Fuck it. You're okay. You have life or you have your youth at this moment. <laughs> pues, fucking, not to change the subject, but it adds with that. The pinches viejitos, güey. So, what was it on uh, fucking Wednesday? I get a phone call like around 9 o'clock, way. What can I look at it? And it's a pinche Alfred. Alfred Robles. I'm like, what the fuck? Ya contesto. He's like, hey, fool. What are you doing? I'm like, aquí viendo tele, way. Chilling. Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow <laughs> night? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Are you busy or what? I'm like, I don't know. It depends. What? Well, well, <laughs> what do you want to do? I'm a little, gotta I'm a keep, little sketchy, you know? Yeah. I'm like, hey. Gotta keep my out open. Yeah, like, like, and then he's all like, hey, you and your mija want to go see Los Wookies? I'm all like, what? Hold on. I'm all <laughs> like, hey, mija. She's all like, huh? What? Like, hey, you down to go see Los Wookies tomorrow? Like, what? Los Wookies? I'm all like, hey, you busy tomorrow? She's all like, hold on. Yeah, no. Uh, kicking in the couch. No, I'm, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> kicking in the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so... Fuck it. All right. So vamos a, he gets, gets me the tickets and everything, right? So it's Thursday. So the, the show is at 8. Right there at the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's like, ¿qué, qué, qué? ¿Cuánto es la casa, güey? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say 15 miles, bro, because I don't want to dox you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like about 25, 30 miles away from your house. All right, right. <laughs> so then, uh, so the mijo and I look around. I know, it. <laughs> so close. Doxing himself, I know, way, fuck. So I'm all like, ah, fuck it. Well, let's go have dinner. And I'm like around 6 30. Like, we'll go have dinner and we'll fucking go. So I'm a comer, wey. No mames. Fucking. Uh, I guess getting away from the Coliseum is not that bad as trying to get to it. Son of a bitch. We kind of fucked ourselves over. Why, wey? No, wey. Fucking. El sh- the, so we left the, the place like around 7 45. I'm 7 50, 
And I'm like, okay, the show starts at eight. Eh, it's okay. We get there a little late night bell, you know. Like I was thinking, well, I was thinking in the back of my mind they're gonna have an opening band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, van a tener los pinches los temerarios o los Johnnys or fucking el grupo indio. Those were beyond the marquee wave. They were those guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, fuck it, you know. So it it took maybe only a mile and a half from the fucking the Coliseum. It took us about an hour. And some change just to try to get parking inside. No, we are parking in the Coliseum anymore. No, we are parking anywhere. Shit. So fucking joking around. The mija said, well, why don't we just go back to the house, park it there, and we just walk over. Walk the 30 miles. Yeah, yeah walk, walk the, the 30 th miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walk the 30 miles, bro. <laughs> so I'm all like, ah, ha, ha, nos caeremos de risa. But then at some point, we contemplated oh. doing that because we couldn't find anything. We went through the little neighbors. No, pues, ¿qué vas a encontrar, güey? Fuck it. So I think we ended up parking halfway between our house and the Coliseum. 15 miles. 15 miles. <laughs> we and we walked, took an Uber. We walked 15 miles. No, in the you. snow. I know, right? Uh, uphill snow. both ways. In the snow with some huarachos on. <laughs> it was snowing and it was 120. So, <laughs> so llegamos Weird como las, day. como las, uh, yeah, once we sat down, it was like 9, 9, 15 por ahí, right? So it was cool because now we're getting all the jams. We're getting all the classics. And like, fuck yeah, all right, los pinches bookies. Fuck yeah, Marco Antonio can still handle it, bro. Pero en una de esas comienzan con la canción la de Morenita, güey. Right? Ta -da -ta -ta -da -ta 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 -da. Y ya ves, el pinche chivo fucking always like doing his little dances con el pinche the bass guitar up high. And fucking, so cuando comienza esta canción, el cabrón starts doing the, the fucking... ¿Cómo diría? La marcha de esos de, de los pelotones de fucking de, del ejército mexicano, right? Fucking leg kicking. Leg high kicking, kicks. High kicks, cabrón, right? Ven pinche uh, como eh, la John Sebastian los ándale, caballitos. Ándale, ándale. Parece pinche caballito. Pinche de, para el <ríe> parece caballito de John Sebastian, güey. <ríe> fucking ahí baile y brinque y brinque. Bien entrenado el compa. Yeah, uh, no. So where I was at, you could see him. But I was looking at the at the at the screens, right? And they're focusing on Pinchi and Marco Antonio. So I'm looking at him. And then de repente I hear the mija say, like, oh shit, did he fall or is that part of the show? I'm all like, what? What are you looking? What are you talking about? Like, there's somebody on the floor on the stage. So then I look down and I focus. Yes, the pinche chivo laid out, we. Oh shit. <laughs> and I'm all like, what the fuck? And then she's like, is that? Is that like like is that his deal? I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen anybody laid out like that. He's not even moving. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's part of the show at all. <laughs> so we're lucky. Next you know, you see the stage heads. They're coming out. Y Marco Antonio todo profesional, güey. Morenita, estoy queriendo tanto, tanto. Singing. And then I'm just looking. And then you see like fucking... You know, like little fucking parecían pinches cucarachas, güey, because they're all wearing black. They're all coming up to it. Oh, se cayó un pinche pasito de pan or whatever. How, how fucking high were you, güey? Well, so they look like roaches. <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's a good shout, distance. I mean, shout out for, to Alfred for always copying the bomb seats, güey. <laughs> no, no, güey. It's, it's like, wow. It's a good spot because you can see down because if you're lower, like, está cabrón para ver. Mejor. So, <laughs> yeah, you tell yeah. yourself. You keep telling, your, you keep telling yourself. <laughs> hey, they were good. I mean, I, yeah. I, I had I had the fucking tickets to Los Bookies, right? So then you see everybody coming on, trying to get them, and they like it takes like two or three guys. Lo levantan, and está como pinche pájaro baleado de todo pinche. Hey, you know what's funny though? I just caught on to the story where Fernie when when Alfred called them and said you and your mija doing him man. Ramon and you, way, but he, <laughs> he fucking immediately. I can't answer wait, for Fergie. Wait, he, he, you he, just he, caught up to the keywords. He immediately, <laughs> he immediately fucking <laughs> turned to his left when he should have just sent the text. <laughs> <way. laughs> I think I was like, hey, hold on, let me get Fernie on the line. <laughs> I think that's what he meant, where <laughs> you know you say it joking around, but the mija suspects that. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he meant, where <laughs> what She's are you like? Oh, e Fernie? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he meant what are you? Yes, milagro que no llevaste a Fernie. Yeah. <laughs> and you missed a, a fucking opportunity there, bro. I would have just fucking said that I got these tickets. <laughs> I would have been like, hey, tomorrow you, hey, you, we're doing something. Surprise! I'm, I'm going to spice this yeah. up. Para que no digas que no te saco. Hey, Para que no digas que no te hago nada bonito, eh. Que no te, <laughs> no, que no te chiqueo. You fucked up on that one. <laughs> I know. That's a best opportunity, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm not, I'm not that fucking, you know, it's a, it's, it's a tipo de persona, man. I'm just, it's just a joke, man. Relax. So, fucking, <laughs> no, because the jokes and jokes are rato like, yeah, pinche Ramonda, la cagó. Nobody's listening to this shit, 
<laughs> Nobody listens yeah, to that's why we keep getting fucking croc memes and oh, dude. and fucking reggaeton memes. Oh, shit, man. That's why we, yeah, nobody listens. That's why we keep getting bombarded with that. Uh, yeah, nobody listens to this All shit. All right. Man. So fucking, yeah, lo levantan and they bring out a stool for him, right? <laughs> casi, casi, they prop him up with the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, so, sacaba la canción uh, and anyway. then they're like, ya va Marco Antonio. Oh, what's that? And they're like, you know, they he puts the microphone away and he's talking to the pinche. You he was a pinche chivo, like, uh, yeah. hey, those guys would get coked out all the time back Probably, in the day. Probably, no? dude. I don't all know. those dudes with the <laughs> mullet, <were. laughs> the mullet. All, all those curly fucking oh, mullet yeah, dudes. Those that, guys were mean cocodrilos. Yeah. If you if you zoom in on the pictures, they have the, the little pinky the, the nails, little fucking, fucking the long pinky nails. List, list of, all those guys love that shit, way. So, fuck it. Ya cuando comienza, le digo, le digo, le dije, ah, para que se le, no, que no, joven, para que se le quite lo payasito <laughs> la chingada se le sube la presión <laughs> Además, like, ahí anda baile vale como que si fuera trompo eh ahí está culero güey. He, he knows that people got babysitters people fucking walk 15 miles to get here no, and people he, came from like Santa Barbara and, he, and he's trying to fucking give you guys a good show güey, <laughs> because it's paying customer y todavía has this shit on him <laughs> Se dio un putazo, right? So, yeah, sigue la canción. He played the classics, dude. I'm like, it transported me back to my fucking youth, you know? Like, my parents playing uh, on the road trips. Fucking at some point, I'm fucking crying because I'm like, this desgraciada, you know? I'm just, you know, just shit like that. It was good. It was good. So, cantan la de tu cárcel. Se acaba. And I was telling Fernie, dude, like, once they, like, they finish the last song, adios, nos vemos y se van. I'm like, ah, es típico que van a ser... La de, the encore. So, un chingo de gente, you see them fucking from the, from the bottom and the field. They're all leaving. They're all leaving. Parecía pinche, like a school of fish, right? And then de repente, you, al, a los tres o cuatro minutos, like, yeah, you see that some of them are coming out, like, half of that. And then they come back over here. I'm like, oh, shit, no, que no, cabrón. So, yeah, they're, they're stalling time because no sale Marco Antonio. And like, and the, the guy's talking like, oh, muchas gracias. Hace 27 años que estuvimos aquí en el Coliseo. Y para regresar y tener, you know, y todos ustedes aquí, qué bonito. Gracias a los medios de la radio. Doing their spiel. Y de repente, I'm all like, fuck, pues ya pasó como seis minutos y nada. Damn, he's fucking clocking him, bro. Yeah, dude, I'm all like, well, what's going on? <laughs> Three you know? minutes, six minutes. And de repente, fucking... En lo oscuro, güey. Se ve de Thor Willy now. El pinche chivo en la wheelchair. Jesus, bro. This sounds pretty... You're shitting on... This sounds know, pretty wey. serious, güey. <laughs> the fuck? Like, what happened, güey? I feel bad. Pinche still trying to make it out and give you a I show. I know, güey. And this guy's <laughs> shitting on the poor... <laughs> fuck. Hey, he's in the stretcher still fucking... And I'm almost talking shit. <laughs> Paso me gustabas, culero. Es lo que le pasa por payasito, mi amigo. He's fucking with the stretcher like the soccer games. And I'm like, culero. No, but I'm like, the y lo sacan, lo sacan, and then, yeah, they do two or three more songs, and yeah, you know. But you could tell que si pinche putazo si le, mm. si le afectó. So they, they replaced them, or they? I don't know. I mean, that was. This uh, was a bass player? Yeah. Es el chivo. Yeah, but did you hear that there was still bass in the music? Oh, yeah. There was still bass. <laughs> so, dude, oh, are, you know they, are they really... Are they pulling a fucking kiss? Like, or... kiss kiss right now is going through some shit, wait, because there's people on YouTube compilating, like, live in, like, Germany with live in fucking Texas and shit. And, and apparently kiss is, like, the ultimate fucking uh, fakes right now. It's charging people three, four hundred dollars per ticket, and they're not even playing their instruments, where they're playing on a pista that's... Cause, they were like in Germany or something, and the drums were a little off. So everybody was thrown off. And then people started putting videos on the internet of them playing the song exactly the same in Germany, exactly the same in the States, right? So is yeah. that what the bookies are doing too? They're, They're playing a, with pistas? Britney Spears? No, <laughs> no because uh, se ve que, I mean, fucking, uh, la voz de Marco Antonio is there, dude. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you're saying that and the guy cayó and the bass is still fucking in the back, I mean, I don't know, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna call bullshit tú, on tú this. Tú que eres músico, how complicated are the bass chords on, on the Wookiee songs? I mean, it's 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 it pretty much uh, it's it's it gives you that that rhythm that you that you dance to it because it locks yeah, with the band. They have they have the keyboards, they have the congas, the drummers, otro keyboard, el de la guitarra. There are like seven guys up there. So the dude took a yeah, spill and you the, didn't even the, notice. But the bass, yeah, the basses are 
crucial instrument in any uh, fucking I, genre. I, I I definitely agree, but maybe maybe they must have had somebody in the back fucking know, playing man. it. I don't know. You heard it first. Those rookies are fucking faking it. <laughs> you heard it from Ramon. You heard it from Ramon. The rookies are a fraud. <laughs> They're a fraud, guys. Don't spend money on them. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they put on a good show. You said. No, you said. No, no. You said that they got the bass player out in the stretcher, and literally no, the next song. Not a stretcher. There was a fucking. They put player? him on a stool and they propped him like I estaba, you know, fucking aguantando. So and the baseline was still solid. Yeah, the yeah. baseline was fucking. <laughs> it was. It was. I mean, at some point, cuando se dio el madrazo, you didn't hear bass, but I cuando se levantó. Oh, see, that's what we were asking but, before. So he was still on stage when, when after he was still on stage when the music was still playing, or he was cuando off. se cayó. The no, music? Like, like when cuando se cayó and then mm. they moved on. The next song was he on stage still? Yeah, sentado? yeah, he was. Oh, okay. So you yeah. made it sound like he fucking they took him out. No, 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 no. They put him on a stool. <laughs> I he told you. Him, he popped no. him up. Es que no me pones atención. No, es que es because he's only listening for keywords. I know. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes my fire. Away. It's okay though. <laughs> you don't fucking love me anymore, eh? Yeah, no. I was just saying. Really. And then ya cuando lo sacan with the the, the wheelchair. Um, he's still playing because yeah, uh, like the very last song, that's when este Antonio is doing like um, what we do right here, like you know, and drums we got this and over here we got that y que la chingada blah blah blah. So con le toca el chivo, he does his little solo like you know, yeah. So sacaba el show and I'm like holy shit, pero no no le miré que tuviera bandeja like any bandages or anything. <laughs> But yeah, como que si se. I'm sure there's videos of it. I, that's what I was telling Fernie. Somebody like, took a video of that. Which yeah. just like the kids way. That that's how they take. Everybody's always taking video with. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that sucks. Where imagine paying four hundred dollars and they're not even playing. Way. But people pay for for people like um, these other artists. No, like uh, remember Britney Spears? They, and they in sync do that and or, all sure, those, all those boy guys. bands. Yeah. I don't know about Beyonce and all these other ones. I mean, no say. Yeah, I mean the they, Lady Gaga's. I don't know. They should. They should disclose that way. Like, if I'm gonna, if you're charging me three hundred dollars, are you playing or is it a backing track? Like, cause well, at that point, it's a, it's a show. No, it's not really like a. Mm, they should be playing. It's not like really a music act. It's like more of a. At that, show. that, at that point, uh, I mean, you're, you're splitting hairs now, right? No, I mean, well, you because should, you should be playing your fucking yeah, instrument. If, if people you, are getting babysitters and fucking making all these arrangements to go to your concert on a Tuesday night. Give them a fucking live performance where, like, why the fuck are you guys cutting corners? Like, are you, if you're too old to fucking play, then stay home. Like, don't fucking, don't, don't take advantage of poor people. Not only is the band taking advantage, but then fucking Ticketmaster is, is fucking raping people as well, right? I don't think that's cool, way. Right? I, don't, I don't think people, musicians should be doing that shit. They give music a bad name, right? That's why I thought, remember, like you said, I, I was listening to key words, where right? I, I, um, <laughs> I thought that's what the Los Bookies was doing. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad it was a misunderstanding, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I, I missed the part where you said he was playing. <laughs> fuck, that would that would have ruined a fucking I, I, childhood. I, I, don't, I don't want those, those bookies mid fucking set to to have the 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 great mi migrator. What's it called? The quiet quitting. Quiet quitting. Oh, yeah. Those bottles are quiet fans. quitting. <laughs> Just You're going it. to migrating? I don't know. Man. Just, <laughs> just remember QQ, quiet quitting. All right, I'll still oh, forget. Oh, shit. It. Keywords. <laughs> quiet quitting, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see them fucking, um, Dude. Like, like, with the new, basically, it seems like they got a new audience with with different generations coming together. Where yeah. There was, uh, there was old and young. That's LA for you, bro. LA is a fucking melting pot where a lot of artists love playing LA where because, you know, people show up where. Yeah, that I that fucking that the Coliseum was fucking sold out, dude. Yeah. So and there was like there was still people trying to get in, cause there was no parking. Say you know it's a madre way. Yeah. Shit. The the Science Center, the the parking right there by the Bank of California, the parking that's by the by the Olympic pool, the parking that's all the parking way. That's yeah. all you gotta say. All the parking was fucking gone. And then the people that live around those neighborhoods, lo que hacen is that they double park in the street. Oh, what a fucking nightmare. Well, that's dude. how they make their money because they got these big fucking front yards and driveways. So you, you know, you vas pasando like, hey, you want parking? I fucking 40 baros, 60 baros. I've seen it up to 100 bucks for people to park their fucking car around there. No, but can you imagine that you're not that person that fucking hustles your parking spot and you just... Want to go to work and just mind your own fucking business? Imagine that fucking mess right there. Where fuck, bro. Yeah. 
I don't know, but it was a good show. Thank you, Alfredo, for the tickets. Um, fucking, ojalá que el chivo se mejore. Order Fernie. Y, y para que, pa que vean. Next time say Fernie. Don't say your, your girl. Or hey, te digo? Uh, uh, yeah. What are, you, what are you, you and your girl doing or your mija doing? Yeah. Hey, this is a, a prime example of why my grito should be sending Ramon to more events. To more events. <laughs> I get the, the content. The, the, content. The, I get the scoop. I, I, I'm todo story. It was first hand, man. Yeah. I was Did I get there. it right that time, my grito? And, and, todo, and, todo, <laughs> and todo story, but you didn't really see how it happened. We just saw the aftermath. Well, I was, I was, you know, I was in yeah, the front. But my, you my grito, the yeah, my grito could have gotten me like front row or something, es que and I could have like I stole oh, front row. Era, era cuando estaba llorando. That's why se cayó when Ramon was glossy. He had, had a tear in his eye. Yeah, something in his eye. Yeah, como fui enamorado. And it wasn't the the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not la morenita, güey. That was the jam that was on. No. And I made a keynote. Like, all right, remember what song they were playing. You know, yeah, but no lo viste, way. You think it's yeah, all like it's saw it. Ah, the mija saw it. That's all that matters. Uh, she saw it. Lost some cred, bro. Yeah, I lost some cred. Where <laughs> I did see him laid out. I, I take it back, my You don't send them. He doesn't pay attention. That sucks, though. Wey. What is it with you shitting on musicians collapsing on stage? Wey? That sucks, bro. You obviously never fucking been a musician, way. Because you could shit on people no, fucking collapsing. And then, and then como, como and then. And then they brought him out in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, what the fuck? Man? What the fuck? <laughs> no fucking respect for the art coming from this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick, man. And a then, and then, and then they propped him up on a stool. Se le miraban los pinches pajaritos just circling around. What a dick. De lo mareado que andaba. What a fucking dick, bro. Hey, let me ask you a question, bro, because this is important fucking things that I need to I need to I need to catalog some of these key details with. If we were in a band way, like uh, like we are in the intro, you're the singer way, fucking Fernando is, is doing the mixing or whatever. I'm playing guitar way. One of us collapses away, you would still continue the fucking show? Well, yeah, I'm a professional, bro. People paid money, yeah, like bro. you said, way. People are paying money. Yeah, but look, look, uh, I mean, I are get you bleeding? That part. But like, so so you don't think like like if somebody's being harassed, you don't think they should like stop the oh, show? Oh, well, no, you said How is it different way? It's somebody, no, it's somebody us. fucking, it's somebody hurt or somebody Is Fernie under the payasito on stage? No, but it, did he get hurt? Under the payaso? Under the pinche caballo? Under haciendo sus pantominas? I don't know. All right, so, uh, okay, but if there's something happening on a stage, like uh, on, the, on the pit or whatever, someone's getting beat, someone's getting trampled down, alguien, you know. Están manoseando un pobre cabrón I mean, ahí. You're, you're fucking, you're, one of your soldiers is down, way. I mean, oh, yeah, I, I yeah. get, I get, uh, but there's no man left behind, way. I mean, at uh, that point, I, I get it, way, but it's not a tasteful thing to do, way, in my opinion. You fucking take care of your Batman, way. People aren't going to be upset, way. They're not gonna, if you're upset, you're a fucking asshole, way. I, I don't want you at my shows at that point. If you're upset that the, the, the singer's actually caring for his Batman, way, está cabrón, way. <laughs> the show must go on with a fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, ya cuando acabó la canción hey, porque lo vio. Disco... So, so what happened with fucking uh, James Hetfield? Fucking ended up like Freddy Krueger where they should have kept going. <laughs> kept the Because the show, the show must go on. Yeah, but all the way. Remember, yeah, yeah when the fucking, firework got him. When he, he stood the over, the, the, over pyro the pyro. Shit? Yeah, he, he stood where he wasn't supposed to and the fucking pyro psh. went off. Yeah. So the, the band should have kept playing? Oh, that's different. Come on. Wait, no mames. So there's <laughs> levels to this <laughs> shit. Hay niveles a niveles. What if I pull a groin on stage, right? No, 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 no. Like, si, se, si te topiezas, si caes, or whatever, and then everybody's looking at you, and, you're, and te veo que te... Oh, all right, cool. Ya estamos a medias. Let me finish the one. Ya voy. Como que huele, como estás, cabrón. Bien. Seguimos, ok. Nah, pues que... No, oh, pues órale, pues. Hey. I would stop the show for you guys. Se acaba. I would stop it for you guys. I wouldn't say. It oh, like you just you just tell Freddie to hit stop on the track. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, Freddie. <laughs> There's no fucking lips Pausa. in here. Pausa, nah, this is all live, bro. <laughs> Pausa. <laughs> The show, madre. the show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick, way. Yeah, no, because you were shitting on Santana a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> También, <wey. laughs> También. Like, there's something about this dude just shitting on musicians that collapse. Shitting on greats. I, I don't know so, what it so is. So fucking disrespectful, way. <laughs> keep shitting on greats. Stop touching me, way. I'm all sweaty. 
I'm touching your shirt, where not, yeah, not really your sweat. This is a thick shirt. Why are you wearing thick ass fucking shirts? Where that, that's one thick? of the layers. Eh? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> that's not thick. Well, you can see through it. He's got at least three you, layers. You, you have a regular Hanes and a mus- muscle shirt under that. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, no wonder, three no layers, way. Pa que veas. Three layer burrito over here. Hey, fucking. <laughs> that, then that was... he's got the pants. The fucking chonies and the talco. Another uh, three layers. Hey, the talquito fucking... <laughs> the inside right here, fucking... Todo bien chingón, güey. Really, bro? So, si te, si te el paro? Like, sí, si what, paro like odor or sweat? Like, what do sweat, you... Sweat and odor. Oh. You know, like, it kind of, like, cools it down. It's like, yeah. yeah, you sweat or whatever, but it's not like, you know, mm. heavy sweat. Mm-hmm. Not you that yeah. way. Oh, yeah, shit. no, this is I'm fucking. A, hey, my grito fucking manda the limb voice a pinche Johnson and Johnson, eh? <laughs> I thought it was gold bond, bro. I thought you moved on. I know what the fuck. Nah, I mean, they, I, I, they probably own that shit, way. <laughs> probably. Check the fine print. Yeah, so I man, then I'll check it get on. It's just talco gets all over the fucking place, no way. Yeah, and that's why I do it in the tub. In the tub? Oh shit! And the t- you gotta think about it, bro. Luego nomás pasas un poquito de agua y sh- vámonos. All right, all right. Uh, We're in a drought, bro. That sounds like <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. Jesus fucking. Are you the kind of guy that irons his shirt in the dryer, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a dick, man. Yeah. That's a dick move if I've ever heard one way. <laughs> well, usually fuck, I prefer. Fuck this environment. I don't have kids. I got, I got energy saving. Fuck this is my last time around. Yeah, this is my last hoorah. I don't have a generation to worry about. Fuck that. Let me iron my shirt <laughs> in the la fucking verge. dryer. I rascase con sus propias uñas, cabrones. Wow, bro. Let me use a bottle of water again. He says, Fucking, wow. I'm relieving myself, right? I'll fucking. Wait, I want to stop for a bad mate. When you're brushing your teeth, is the faucet no. on continuously? No. Hmm. No, no, no. And when I'm washing dishes, hmm. tampoco. Hmm. Wait, no. so you don't use a dishwasher? No, más es la mija y yo, güey. It's like, it's just two dishes that we wash. It's not like, and we keep stockpiling he, it. He gets the plastic ones. <laughs> pa no, pa no yeah, the, the styrofoam. The styrofoam. No, las de papel, because I'm fucking eco-friendly, bro. No, you're, no, you're not, güey. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you're not, güey. I've changed, bro. No, you haven't. You already, I've changed. You, you said you peak, güey. This is your final hurrah, güey. So yeah. you don't give a shit about the environment. <laughs> no, no, but I still prefer You have like, a fucking Chevy fucking... <laughs> Gas guzzler <laughs> out there, bro. It's not a gas guzzler. You're fucking give a shit about the environment. Wait, come on, the, look at ga- It does pretty good for gas. I'm surprised. <laughs> you're not. You're not a Al Gore type of guy. Wait. You don't. You don't. Get, you don't strike me as somebody that's worried about the environment. <laughs> Do it for sure. No. <laughs> no. <right>. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is no. your last hurrah. Why are you give a shit? What happens? I, I, I think what? his frames are made out of ivory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you give a shit with? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. African tusk right here, baby. You don't, don't care what parks your, your kids are going to go to when they're older. <laughs> you don't give a shit. I don't know. Frog Lake. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he, he said he fucking lived a good 30 miles walking distance from the stadium. I know. And I Let drove. me go drive around for two hours. I know, seriously. <laughs> Let me burn some gas. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. <laughs> Let me burn some gas, you know. Oh god. Oh shit. That's wait. hilarious, bro. Yeah. Stay away. I like your honesty, way. <laughs> <laughs> At least no finta, way. That's one thing I really appreciate about you, way, is your fucking honesty, way. No hey, wait. fucks given. Hey, wait. <laughs> They propped him up on a stool. Like we can have Bernie's way. He baits us, way. He fucking baits us with his fucking senseless uh, fucking uh, uh, stories, way. They have no emotion attached to them. Way. And so we're we're in the fucking. So I'm gonna call my way. Oh, like we can have Bernie's. Yeah. And then I have to think, way. No, that's fucked up, way. Why you let this guy fucking con you into this conversation? Show he knows people paid money. They I mean, drove I got for babysitters. Where fucking, fucking gastaron cien dollars in parking. Parking fucking sucks. Where pinche micheladas are eighty bucks. Uh, I didn't get. We didn't get nothing to drink. No, yeah, we have. We veníamos bien comiditos. Shit. So fucking, <laughs> we parked in the in the street, walked it over. Fucking found our seats. Mm. Had a good time. Fucking got all the classics. Yeah. Yeah. You think they'll work on some new shit way or they don't I think, have to? Yeah, they, there was a, there was a, el uno de los, I think este Marco Antonio Solis has two brothers in the band. El, the, the tambourine guy and the guitarist, I think. Uh, they're his brothers. And the tambourine guy was saying, uh, when he was killing time, is it like, you know, we're doing our classics and uh, there's some new work. A mí me dijo Alfred that que fucking take advantage because Marco Antonio was going to fucking retire soon. Mm. And uh, I told the Mika, but when we heard that, she's like, no, he was retired. I should have betted you. I'm like, 
I don't know. That's what I was doing. I mean, you could retire with the last fucking album, man. Yeah. yeah. He maybe go still on tour or whatever. Yeah. That's tour for two years, he says. And then sell Antonio una casa somewhere in fucking the coast and, oh, let's tour again. Yeah. <laughs> con tres, con tres pinches. Es que yeah, we, they, they earn their straps, bro. They're, they're like Rolling Stone status, way, where it's like they come and it sells out and they make a shit ton of money and good for them, man. I mean, I mean, they sold out the sci-fi, sofi stadium. Yeah. Well, Coliseum is not no fucking Joke. small fry. No, it's yeah. not, where It's fucking massive. It's good way. I mean, I'm sure the road wasn't wasn't fucking easy way. Those dudes, why not they were making it in Mexico? 40, I think they were like 47 years, Tinan. Well, yeah, but I'm sure I mean even like the the prices it all out there. Yeah, I'm sure they make more money on these fucking oh, tours yeah, for way. sure. Way. Well, they're fucking breaking in all kind of shit. Then then they did it was back in the 80s. Way. And I'm sure COVID amplified it too. Way their profits. Yeah. Oh, I mean, for sure. Fucking you see bands fucking making making money way. I mean it's it's one of those things people want to see live music way. They're like fucking excited about it because, you know, it's been a long time, especially a band like that way. I mean, like your sister saw Juan Gabriel before he passed away. Yeah. Way. The week, the, the weekend. Was it the weekend? Or we, yeah, the weekend before he passed away. She, so she saw him on a, on a Friday. And he passed away like on a Sunday morning. Mm hmm. I'm surprised que no se cagó de risa ahorita, güey. Oh, no, seriously. <laughs> Aquí nadie se murió, güey. Santana no se murió. Si se vieron muertos de niés, I'm an asshole. But this is like, okay, they're That's, okay. Well, they're, 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 he they're, they're even, okay. He didn't say he was like the Santana. He didn't say he was okay. No, he said he, said, hey, he, got, he, he passed Santana out. Santana collapsed, bro. Yeah. No, yeah, the case. Hey, he he stroke. He stroke. I'm like, oh, hey, okay. Hey, Fernie made that video, güey. There's, there's receipts, güey. There's, there's receipts of that interaction. He didn't even get to the part of he was okay or now <laughs> I mean you would have heard that he passed away no but he could have been in fucking critical condition or no something shit, what if he's oh, in you, a vegetative you would state? have heard something about it you would have felt bad if he was in a vegetative state after you should yes. no I mean I would have felt bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah I would have after after fucking yeah. se cago wey todos nos reímos de las pinches tragedias wey Nah, wait, well, no, no, todas las tragedias. But some, 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 no, no, actually, no, not tragedies, yeah, but no, wait, no. not tragedies, but like when people get hurt or fall down or se hacen this. ¿Cuántos pinches veces pusieron a Juan Gabriel dancing on stage? He said, Yo, la madre went off the stage and, and everybody was laughing. You know what I do notice that I do on my own when there's nobody around and I'm driving? If somebody bends over, I do. Yeah. I, I, I do it to me, to me, like just put my personal shit on this person. Where, like, I don't have to share that with anybody. Where, that's just my moment by myself in my head. <laughs> when I see somebody fucking putting gas on their pen, like yesterday, I was driving around. I saw this fucking guy drop his wallet while he was putting gas, and he bent over, and I didn't miss a beat. I was like. Pfft. And then in my head, I'm like, ha, ha, ha. I got I got you. Because nobody can share that moment but me, man. It was fucking hilarious. It's just for you. Because I'm driving like, what a fucking idiot. Why'd you do that? But it's like, no, it's funny, man. It, it's your little. I can't miss that. I can't miss somebody bending over in public without. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, man. No problem, man. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, that was a good uh, one, dude. That's a classic. What the fart? Yeah, yeah. those are. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if they go out of style, but those, those within your crew, your friends, or whatever, that's always going to be funny. I mean, it's just the the the, the frequency, the the range that the fart where the 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 noise where it's just hilarious for some reason. Where it's just like when I go to physical therapy, we make sure I don't eat before because this fucking guy <laughs> oh, he yeah. puts in a fucking pretzel and it's like. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Esos no son los huesos. Yo sí me. A ti te echaste un pedo. Me agarraron en la pinche. En una. En una pinche llave. En una llave de los rudos. Así medio comprometidos. En una llave de los rudos. Pinche me agarró en el. Oh, that sucks. Hey, but it felt good. That sucks. It felt good. It was embarrassing. Sounds like you let it go, bro. But you know what? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Sometimes that's what's needed. A fart is, yeah, you can't keep it anywhere. No I used to work at a warehouse with this guy named Mark, and that dude was it's maybe like 6'3", big fucking football dude, had a fucking uh, one of those uh, flat, what are those fucking, flat like, tops? like the marine cut? Yeah, flat top. Flat tops, that's what they're called? Yeah. And he would fucking fart on one end of the warehouse and literally do that shit with just <laughs> travel. Just carry? It would, it would carry, bro. He was a big fucking dude, way. And he would say, hey, doctor's orders, bro. 
They told me don't keep them in. So I'm like, wait, no mames, wait. That was fucking rough, bro. Es pues como nosotros decimos, prefiero perder un amigo que no un intestino. Yeah. O suena mal, pero descansa el animal. Suena bruto, pero descansa el puto. Wow. Jesus. Oh, no, that's what you would say about yourself. Those were the phrases. Wow. Jeez, I'm just repeating them. Whoa. Fuck, you guys are like. You guys ain't nothing, bro. Like, that's crazy. Bitches, kindergartners. 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 No chinging, wey. ¿Qué tienen que ver kindergartners? Kindergarten would be laughing at that shit because we're immature, bro. <laughs> Calling you out on another thing, that's a pretty mature thing to do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, Bernie? Yeah, I think he's right. Why is he calling us in, uh, child children? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, I didn't Don't you know? I mean, never Wait, mind. but it's just, I didn't expect for you to take it there. Where we're having like light banter, <laughs> but it's <laughs> like. But I'm just saying the phrases that would ever come along with that. That was a heavy you, one. You man. never heard them, or like, I'm sure you heard them. That one that you said right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah, way, but. I didn't, I didn't drop didn't. it. We were having like conversation. <laughs> I just didn't expect for that to just fucking. Right. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, you know, I am pissed that way. He's on his fucking silent. What is it called? <laughs> quiet quitting. Quiet quitting. <laughs> <laughs> silent he's auction. Quiet quitting. He's at a silent auction. <laughs> he, he's silent quitting the show. He's, he's like, I'm doing enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did enough already, guys. So. You guys listening, this is what we're dealing with. Ramon, for some reason, he's, he has this very fucking Gen Z attitude that when what? shit gets tough, he quits. <laughs> quits. He's been doing that lately. I don't know what the fuck's been happening to him, but I don't know if you guys noticed. When shit getting tough, he just fucking walks out and throws quits. in the towel. Yeah, you, you noticed Oh that? my God, it was that one fucking video. One? Right now, you did the same shit. Where... Not, did I get up and leave? Yeah, but you fucking put your hands up. Like, oh I'm my done. god! It, so now Silent expressions, quit. Silent quit. fucking hand gestures. <laughs> you said I'm done, way. What'd you say? That's it. I'm fucking done. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making shit up, way. I'm not making shit up. No, all I said is like that's it. I'm just staying quiet now. Yeah, I mean, in the middle of a fucking podcast, look, look how entitled you sound, way. I'm just gonna stay quiet now. Okay. Stay We're recording a podcast, way. Like, how privileged are you, way? That's it. I'm done. I'm quiet. I'm fucking done. All right, well, fucking put the music in. <laughs> that way. Hey, you're done. All right, you get it. Hey guys, remember? Just always remember this, guys. Me and Ferdy, we try to give you guys a, no, a nice you. long episode. We try to, you know, provide a little information and content for you guys, so you guys can enjoy your day. And then, you, as you notice. If, if, you go, if you go back, a me, lot wait. of the times, you wanted to fucking. A lot of the times when we're trying to, you know, provide quality <laughs> fucking content, we always have that one guy. I'm not gonna <laughs> mention any names. Point, I'm not gonna point <laughs> fucking. Le voy a dar una mirada despistada. But, but my uh, what's it called? My bleeder. ¿Cómo se llama este? Mo, oh, the, pulgar, that's what I can't remember. Pulgar. My, my pulgar <laughs> that's pointing over here. Uh, he's always trying to end it early, guys. And 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 this is AI guys. <laughs> I'm trying to end just it. Just so early. you guys know, this is the kind of shit we're working with. I mean, I don't know where. <laughs> I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I don't know how sustainable this is gonna <laughs> no, feel. I mean, we're trying to give people fucking a show. Hey, right? hey, hey, always... hey, my grito, we might need a uh, some therapy. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some group therapy. Tell us of your way once once we fucking sign way. <laughs> this is the kind of shit we do with. <laughs> I'm done. Makes a lot of demands now. <laughs> he him. throws up those, his fucking hands. When it gets sure, it gets rough. <coughs> if I wanted demands, we would have had the AC already. I mean, it wasn't that Making bad. Making demands doesn't mean you get them. With. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have <laughs> been like, making them. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 what was the song, Way? The Rolling Stone song? You, you can't always get what oh, you want. Yeah. <laughs> you can't always get what you want. Oh, fuck. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> it's, it just says something like, uh, you get what you need, way, you know? But nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what you guys got, man. This is the best we got. I mean, he did call it. He said he was dragging ass before we started. So I've been, I, I've been dragging ass. Yeah. You know? I've been, I need cafe, I need, well, lack of sleep most, I think, when I don't know. It's just What's kinda, going on, way? Tell us your story, way. What did you sleep the prior? No, I, I think I was scared. La neta. What are you stressing, bro? There, there's, there's a lot of things, but there's. La neta, there is a, I think I'm, I'm going, I, I got to take another fucking, uh, like, noticias fucking, like, vacation type of shit. Oh, uh, you've been fucking. Oh, no, you well, been no, I, I always, news? I always binge, like, news, and I think I binge a lot of stuff, but but that's what I'm saying, so, like, I think it's time for one of those little vacations. But what's to, it, what's pissing you off? What was the final straw that you're like, hey, wait, I need it. I don't think there's a, I don't think we got to a final straw yet, but look at that. You're video. getting I think, there. I think, I, I feel like I'm getting there, que, que like. 
it, not, I don't, I don't want to say it's coraje, but it's like kind of like fake coraje because they, mm. like, what are you going to do about like crazy shit? Like yeah, that? yeah. Like the abortion shit and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. También, uh, oh, you know what's a fucking one that someone brought up that I was like, oh shit, I didn't know it was this long. Is the, um, the migrant way, the, the UFW way that they're marching to fucking Sacramento. Someone brought it up fucking, I think yesterday tagged us on something. I was like, oh shit, they're still going. I thought it was just like a little marcha, like a weekend type of thing. Uh, fucking, yeah, because they got to go back to work on Monday. No way. It's it's like the, the one in the 60s way, like the Cesar Chavez one, where they're going from uh, probably by by where the fucking Compa Edgar lives. Way. Oh, what, Central, uh, Wasco. But what I tell me, what, what's that fucking, uh, I forgot where they started in the 60s. I think they started in the same place and they march all the way to Sacramento, like along the whole month way. They, they re- literally do like 15, 20 miles a day way. I was like, no, mames, way. That's rough, and, this and then there's fucking heat out and, there. And there's fucking rucones, way, and ru- ruconas, like, <laughs> señoras, way. Because there, there's Senos. people there's people marching with that marched in the 60s with Chavez, way. No shit. And they're doing it again. You're like, what the fuck, way? Eso sí está... Like Dolores Huerta, people yeah, like she's, that? Yeah, she's, she's there, too. I don't know if they're marching every fucking mile, you know? But mm. you see, like, the, the señoras and los señores, and they interview them, and... Yeah, I was there in the 60s way. Yo estuve ahí con, con el César Chávez en el 65 or 66 or 67, somewhere por ahí, late 60s. And they're there too, and I van otra vez, way. So they're still working in that. No, nah, maybe I shouldn't say this, way, because it's going to just... It's going to come off wrong? It's just going to take away from the, 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 the fucking um, the, the story, way, but... Well, now you said Cesar Chavez, where there, there was something about him that people didn't like, right? That he didn't like, he didn't like paisa as well. Like, yeah, that's what it was. Like, those wet bags, yeah. yeah. They call them wet bags. And um, the, I think his his whole thing was that the Chicanos or the, the people in the area, like, well, this is Bakersfield or whatever, right? <clears throat> they would lose work or, like, or they wouldn't get paid the same or the crowds because uh, venían los braceros a trabajar. Mm-hmm. And, and they it, get paid less. Yeah. yeah. So they, they lowered the standard, cheap, pues. Cheap labor. Yeah, well, they lowered the standard, pues. If I'm asking, pues, in those tiempos, ponle... Like for five or six dollars or something, which even sounds like a lot for them. Like two bucks. And man. they pay them fucking tres. Then yeah. they, I'm not going to get what I want because yeah, they yeah, yeah. So that, that, that's why you dislike them type of shit. But uh, yeah, we said a lot of things, gay, like like against illegal. And yeah, my, said, my, my and, uncles and my dad didn't care for him. I just don't think anybody can be like perfect, way. Because even no, like you MLK, can't. even like some of these people, they, they all have their flaws, way. I mean, it's just people, I think people really expect somebody to be like perfect. And the at the end of the day, they're still human, way. Yeah. We say shit sometimes that's not right, way. But I mean, at the end of the day, way, like you can't, I don't think there's like that perfect fucking person that's for the people, way. There's going to be flaws, way. But are we Keanu willing? Reeves, bro. Are we willing to accept that way? Is, is basically what it is, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then the way we think, way. See, like what we, what I did right now is you started talking about Cesar Chavez, and the first thing my head said, wait, wait, what's what was there? What upset? was the controversy yeah. with him? And so that's how we think, way. Yeah, well, it we're, wasn't we're really about Cesar Chavez too, but that's the, the like the key word was like you're saying that like, you oh, picked yeah, up the, on. But it's like uh, humans do that. It's not just me that do no, that. No, no, no. We all do that. Like it's it, we automatically. Hey, isn't that the like? Why don't we just listen to the fucking story and like just take it for what it is? But that's that's actually fuck. Right? I need to work on that one because that's. <laughs> but I I think to get back to that one, I think it was because I think she or he, I can't remember who. Someone tagged us on something yesterday. It said, "Hey, fucking, we were trying to spread the word." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's fucking." That is weird that like I heard about it was I think probably in the beginning of the month and like I said I thought it was like a little weekend little march a little march and I was like oh shit they're still going and like you look up into it and it yeah it's like the one in the sixties way where it's like the whole month they're marching way I'm like oh shit like, I mean it, and I and I like like I said I don't know if a lot of people have heard about it way. no okay I mean we're, people were more outraged on that fucking rapper making that song than it takes away from like things that are actually that important. happened this month too yeah yeah that sucks where yeah porque I mean these battles I mean I don't know if this is well I guess it's kind of big way but I mean I because I, I think that for the um, they want the the governors gun the governor to sign the pretty much so they can vote like on uh, union elections from home way. Like, you can mail in ballot your union election. Because normally, I guess you have to, they have to, they, they have the elections like on the, on the farm way, on the, the fucking boss's property, boys. So, and so fucking, ya ves que esos ways. That's a rough one, way, that, that, what they're going through, man. 
is I don't know if there's any solution in side way because it's not only them, like also farmers way. I mean, it's a, it's a tough industry way. Well, they're the farmers way, especially with like Monsanto. U, and all that. UFW United Farm Workers. United Farm Workers. Yeah, porque el, but I mean, también when you think about it, way I know that um, like the, even the United Farm Workers aren't as big as they used to be. Like just like all the unions, way a lot of them, like the union union membership in general is fucking down. Even though right now we're hearing a lot about all the union yes. stuff. But the like the farm work the UFW también is not as big as you would think, and and también because like even last year the this fucking Supreme Court también the same one fucking they lost some other rights like the you like some other union rights I think that they can't go on the property now like like to oh, to uh, to have like little union meetings or yeah, whatever yeah 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 they can't go on the property now like the union so like before work or like during lunch whatever they can't do that shit anymore because that's those ways someone won the the their case way saying hey these battles are fucking are disrupting called? or whatever yeah well i mean i heard that the uh, fucking medieval times they're trying to I get mean? a union strippers are getting a union and they're going under the theater arts for i guess the medieval times because of the actors and and everybody portraying the the, the royalty and everything so they're going trying to get that the arts or theater union um, y también the strippers are for dancing and, and everything. So if it's good for for theater dancers and whatever, the, the, the strippers that want to get represented too. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, it's fucking well, good. You I mean, it's good, but el pedo es que there's, there's like, like we were talking about Sister Chavez, as, as people always do things for less money, there'll always be that, that, that crew that's going to not want that union and, and do it for less money. And that's when uh, a lot of people get fucked where if they don't vote the union anyway. So there's always somebody willing to do it without fucking the little the yeah. scabs. Right? Yeah, without having that. I, I, you know what? To the way I think a lot of maybe I'm wrong with I'm just thinking out loud. But the fact that we don't really eat a lot of vegetables nowadays, way as a society, like it's it's. I feel like that that also kind of adds to the not giving a shit about who's picking our food, way because we don't we don't really see a lot of color in our dishes, way. A lot of people as a, Americans as a whole, way. Our foods don't really have that much color as far as fruit. I mean, uh, you know, vegetables, um, lettuce, like nice looking tomatoes and shit like that. We don't really eat like that a lot. So I may be in my head, I'm thinking that maybe that also contributes to our lack of empathy for the migrant mm -hmm. is us not really well, the farm consuming um, yeah. like fucking uh, vegetables and shit like, like our parents used to. I mean, I know my mom and my dad, they ate more veggies and shit than we did, than we do now. So... I don't know if that's ever going to change, man. I mean, I'm not saying let's not stop fighting for it, but, I mean, what's going to make it change, dude? I mean, I don't know. Well, that, I think that's the kind of the point of the, the, the this march way. I don't think it, I don't think it, uh, I don't. I mean, is it I don't just to get awareness? Or it, not? It, it is, way, because what else? Do you, like the, you're in the 60s, is the same thing. They did it to get like the news coverage, like to, yeah, to get awareness with. What was it? No, was was the whole thing? Like, and don't so, buy grapes? Yeah, so now they're doing the same thing, but like we're saying, like, you have like the other thing, the, 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 the fucking hip hop rap dude probably got more attention. That song got more attention than like this. Oh, that's our community. That's what we focus on. That's what I'm saying. On. So there's so much other stuff and now it's harder to get attention. And like with, like I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not flashy to to start blasting uh, the migrant shit as it is to start blasting these people are taking our culture and their. I mean, it's just as a society, we need to fucking work on ourselves, way right? because we we definitely choose different things that don't really fucking matter. Way right? that's a prime example. You you see a lot of people on Instagram they posted about that shit and like with this stuff that actually really does fucking affect the community, like. We we have to hear it from somebody else because it's not in our radar way, and 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 it's not cool. Like it's not cool way, like hip, for fucking cloud to put fucking migrant workers or, you know the 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 all these these people marching and all this shit. It's better to fucking talk shit about a black rapper than fucking post shit like this way. And as a society, as a culture way, as, as a community, I, I don't know way. I think we need to change. But I mean, we we live in that outrage mm. culture. I mean, way. So you're gonna get. Especially if you're on social media, you're going to get more hits if you're outraged about that way than if you're outraged about this, you know, like. But then it's like, who do you trust where like if some people are posting news just to get like a cloud and like fucking a follow or a, follow, or, or, I mean, or a like or yeah, that's not doing anything for the community where if anything, it's it's hurting the community even more where because you're not being genuine and honest with the people that are listening or watching your content on YouTube or whatever it is. 
Um, so what are they at? Uh, like, can we donate or what, what, what is it? Um, uh, I don't even know where you would donate. I'm sure there's fucking, cause there, there's people like that meet them up. Like in, I guess I'm sure there's people that give them the like desayuno in the morning and, shit, yeah. and there's people on the way too. you see them fucking giving waters. Uh, I'm sure you can find something. I didn't, I fucking, I didn't find too much. Okay. But tampoco, I didn't research it too hard, but I knew, I know about that Supreme Court case from last year. I know fucking like when I, when I fucking finally looked it up. Yeah. It's like the thing that's like, like Chavez in the sixties. So, I mean, I, I, I know some other points, but like, I, I, I just read the one article on the actual March with just to find out what it was about. And it's about that, uh, the AB, I forgot what it is, like 2181 or something like the, that is for them for like to have union elections pretty much. So you have an option where like you can have, you can go pick up a ballot or you can fucking mail it in or you can get it mailed to you and then hand it in or mail it, you know, so you have an option in other words. So they don't have to have the, the union vote pues in front of your fucking boss type of shit. So, so you what, don't feel that pressure while he's fucking dogging you. A ver, cabrón, let's see. You voting on this shit? So yeah. is there a possibility that... that oh, cause, oh, my bad. Uh-huh. So because también el Newsom last year vetoed like a, the same thing last year with like the bill. So this is like the second time they're trying. All right. So sorry, adelante. Wey. Oh, so what I'm hearing is, is there a possibility that the immigrant made sure it might come out soon? If we find a little cause to donate for this thing, I mean, it, it, it ends this this week. So this comes out on Tuesday. I think it ends on Friday. Wait. Oh, not enough time. <laughs> <clears throat> like so, I said, but well, kind of like what, what, what me and the stand we're talking about, we're like, did, like this this thing popped up on my radar, like when it started probably, and like the, when the, they first got the little news coverage, and that's it. So like I said, I didn't even realize it was a whole month. I mean, it's not it's not good for Newsom's business, where as far as like his his vineyard and all that shit. If, oh well, that that time they marched to his uh, that was last year. I think they marched to his his vineyard where. Yeah, it's but, it's. I don't I don't well, want to get into politics. Right? It's because it's another the union shit way. Yeah, but ahorita the Starbucks is fighting the unions, Amazon's fight. Everybody's always fighting the unions, and usually, the pues los los de que tienen dinero, the the owners of companies and are the ones that have more leverage way. Right. Same thing with this other one that passed, pues, that they took away the, 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 that access to the union to go on site, pues. Not even like during work hours, way. They're, they're supposed to go like before or after. They can't they can have like the meeting, pues, during work hours type of shit. But they took that away from the farm workers union, at least. I don't know if it's because I was younger, way, and I really didn't know much about shit, but I, I, I never had a good experience with unions. I, the unions that we were a part of, the Teamsters, uh, where I was working at uh like the drivers and shit from the magazines we had a, we had teamsters out there I forgot the number but I never had good luck with them way and then maybe it was just because I was a kid way and then it may, maybe I didn't know how to utilize it but the memory that I have and the 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 fucking dialogue that we would have is they just fucking take our money they haven't done anything for us and like I said maybe it's just the union that I had or maybe it's just I didn't know how to utilize it properly there's resources um there's shop stewards and all that shit that maybe I maybe it was just me but yeah I don't I don't have a good experience with unions when but I mean would would you does that mean that you don't believe the fucking unions would like work or not not, not maybe not work that aren't a benefit, pues. I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking about my experience. Where, but I'm I mean, saying that, that, that does in that your, in your, in your opinion? Or I'm your saying experience. like your opinion in, on, in my, as a whole, pues. In, as a, in my opinion, now if I, if I worked at a place that has, that has a union, I would really infiltrate it to see how it really runs because to get a better understanding. Before I say, nah, that's just a waste of money because. I could easily say that. Fuck these unions. They just take your fucking union dues and they don't help you when you get laid off. I can easily say that because that's technically what happened. But I wouldn't do that as an adult right now. I would really try to get in there to really see because all it is is I'm just talking. I'm just talking from a memory that I had as, as when I was in my early 20s. Wait. So 20s versus 40s. Big difference. Yeah, maybe they're maybe they are good. Where I don't know. No, it's like but anything. I'm saying, oh. It's like you gotta like when you're part of something. If you don't participate or partake in it, you're not gonna see the benefits or you're not gonna know what's going on. If you just like, ah, I don't have time to go to the union meetings or I don't have time to find out what my my local is doing for for us. And I said, like, are we doing? You know, a lot of people don't want to get inconvenienced with that. Like, if they have gatherings, they're like, ah, pa' qué, ni madres. Think I should do. It's yeah. pura política. I'm a, I'm a fucking, uh, fuck, I'm, I keep forgetting this guy's term. Quit. <laughs> I ain't going on fucking meetings like that. Quiet uh, quitting. Quiet quitting, bro. <laughs> That's it. Um, 
yeah, no, that's what I mean. Right? It's just maybe because I was a shit kid, wait, and fucking I didn't utilize it properly. And you know, uh, it's a very young thing to do is not ask questions and just fucking take shit for face value and not really be like, no, wait, but why? Like, that's something that maybe if like you talk back, if I went, if or you talked earlier, like if I went back. I would want to ask more questions, way, and not just fucking take whatever people tell you. Not face value. Yeah, because that's what it was. Like the union rep will show up, or the, and then, I mean, what questions do you have? Where you're a fucking kid, you don't know much. Way. Yeah, you don't care too much. And so it's like, I, if I would have asked the right questions, it would have maybe had a different outcome. But it's like, as a 21 year old, I didn't know to ask questions, and it's very important way that I wish I had asked questions. Where maybe I would have had a different perspective. Yeah, but I, uh, like I'll. Como te digo, like, does that not not like on a like does that personal experience pues affect your your view like overall pues not like would I take a union job but like like as a society pues or like as the pe working people pues does that affect your your view on like gen like uh, unions in general pues like to say that that ah pinche unions valen madre or just or money. unions I mean, do fucking help I mean if I'm thinking about it and I'm being honest like with be you supportive guys, in other like words. I wouldn't. If I, if I was in a job when the unions came, I wouldn't think, oh, finally, fuck, we're getting saved. I wouldn't think like that. To me, it would be like, I don't know. Well, like, let me fucking see what the fuck. Like, it's not. I know to some people like the Starbucks, like all these uh, adult dancers or whatever this guy was talking about. I'm, I think a lot of those people see it as a savior. Like, oh, finally. I, I, I don't see it like that because of my past experience. Doesn't mean that I would mm -hmm. shut off from it. But I would. And then maybe that's not a good thing. Man. It's just I would come in with like, mm, let me, let me see. Let me see skeptical. What you yeah, skeptical. Yeah, let, yeah. let me see. Wait, I, that's I don't, not I don't, bad. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. not going to completely shit it and be like, fuck this. But I'm definitely not going to think, oh, finally, fuck yeah. But like, okay, por decir, like the, in the situation you're talking about, like, que viene en mi company and a ver, pues I'm going to wait and see. But when, when the vote comes up, what are you going to vote? For it or against it? Because then you, you still, you don't know yet. But you still have to vote, pues. I mean, or you can not vote and the council's a no, pretty much, pero. Yeah, I don't know for any, I can't really answer that, honestly, right? Because yeah. if I was to answer right now, I would say no, but. but no, that, that's okay. Can... I'm just asking. Yeah. Right? I'm, not, but, I'm not. But then it's like, why? I don't want to be like that person, way that fucking says no, like without really. Because cause like I said, way, the key part is I was a kid, way. It, it could have just been me, way, like not asking the right questions, not understanding what exactly. Uh, that man and what I what resources I had with that and maybe I just I just felt like maybe they sh they should have given me more information but then as an adult I'm like no Diggy, you should ask more questions wait so I'm in, it's like conflicting to me wait but yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the fucking that they're useless way because that'll be that's not fair for me to say that way yeah because I mean I mean like on my end on my personal side pues I mean I had both a positive experience and a very negative experience pues and i would i would even say that the negative you know negative always seems to outweigh the, the positive let me ask you this way compared to the positive and negative experience you have with them what was the key factor that made it positive the members the members the members like and, like the, the higher ups or like the people mm, that, that you were working no, with no cuz i i you i very very rarely dealt with like the higher ups como dice like union so your co ups. your coworkers yeah um what, what was it about the positive? Whether you you believe in it or not, way. Mm. So like, es el pedo. So like, when you're the the union from from my experience, pues, like I said, the bad experience I think outweighed the positive, just because I think I want to say that's just life in general, pues. Like, you you put more emphasis more emphasis on like the negative. Hundred percent, yeah. right? So, but in at one fucking um, yard, pues, everybody was fucking. Not everybody, pues, well, but uh, the, like the, the majority. Eighty-three percent. The majority were fucking ponle union strong way, puro pinche. Yeah. Not puro union, not pinche me muato por el union, pero I support the union way and right, and that gave power to the reps. So when they went in there to back you up, or to bargain. back you up, or to bargain with, that gave them power, pues, because they had the people behind them. When I went to the other one, to other place, the reps didn't have that power because those otros ways están acachillando. Having that 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 uh that they didn't really they didn't believe the union was doing enough for them or or they they didn't do enough for them personally or maybe for the other guy I did but para mí no me hicieron nada or I should get paid more because I do more than that guy so it was a lot of like like conflict fucking amongst each other where they didn't back the union so when you went in there with the rep the rep had no power away because yeah. the people didn't have his back yeah yeah so I I felt both sides way like the positive and the negative. 
but like in general i still think you you kind of they need to like come back kind of like you're doing i mean baby steps wait but i think they gotta come back because as the bigger corporations like kind of eat up each other way and like monopolize way and then like even the laws and everything and fucking regulations get pulled back way and they have more power way you need to balance that out way where where fucking, I guess you gotta take a. You're not gonna fucking out outdo them, but at least take a little power back, a little balance out the the little power struggle way, so you can negotiate better. But at the same time, I know almost. How well, I shouldn't say I know. At least in my experience, pues, there is a lot of politica in the unions way, and there's people that in the union, pues, like higher ups and even reps that get a power trip way. So that exists two ways. So, but I think overall, I think unions are. A positive one. I think I think yeah maybe maybe there are overall positive um, factoring in that you have the right information and the right education as an employee because if I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you way maybe my early twenties with not asking questions that's a very a migrant mentality as well way where you just take shit you don't Face complain value. you just take shit you work and and it's like if if you ask a question you don't wanna you don't wanna be a contrarian like. You don't so, want to stand so out. what I'm afraid of is knowing exactly how fucking corrupt some of these fucking places are. That these these people that are going to come into unions don't have the proper information and or, or or don't have you know the the voice that that they that they need to have to speak up and ask questions because they're like no I don't want any I don't want to deal with shit I just know that maybe they're going to protect me. But if it if there's no information for these people, I don't know if it's like a net positive way to have a union for them if they don't have the information on how to use the union and utilize it. Because what I'm thinking is it's going to be the same as when I was a kid that, oh, it's just something that's there. But I don't know what the fuck it is. I just know that that it's there. I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I hope it's I hope it's not something that's going to like, um, you know, be have a negative impact on that community way. But I mean, like, like say that that one union job you're saying that you need, you didn't know que pedo about the union, like no te interesaba. I mean, would you say in, like in general that that job was was like a good job? Like in those ages, cases, oh yeah, it's a good job. They pay well, they have benefits, type of shit. I mean, if if we're talking about my experience, where I, I don't, they didn't really do anything when. They, no, they, I'm not talking about the union. I'm saying like the job, like when you got the job, or you applied, did you, you apply or? You got I, that I job porque he says, oh, pagan, pagan bien, you know, fucking, I get some benefits, shit like that way. They offered me eight fifty, and at the time, I thought I was making a shit ton of money, way. There was no union. I didn't know about union. I didn't know that, oh, this is, I'm going to be part of a Teamster. It was just, for me, it was just the job, way. It was just that mindset. It's just, I want to just start working because I want to buy a cool car to get chicks. <laughs> like that stupid fucking mentality, way. Acura. Hey, but let me ask you. So you started with uh, this company before it was unionized. Um, well, no, it's just, we had, it's kind of weird way. Like there was people that weren't union and then there was union workers there. When you started, you weren't a union employee. You had to move up in, in the company and have a job that was under that union. Oh, and that, skilled that, labor. that was your like, so it, there was a lot of like, oh, I can't do that. Cause that's union. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. they can't do that because that's union. Yeah, so you're was, taking union work. So there was a lot of that kind of shit back and forth. So I, I, didn't, I, I didn't give a shit about a fucking union where I want to make money. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to yeah. fucking work. I wanted to fucking help my parents. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to, I don't give a shit about a union way. And then I didn't never had the right education way because the banter in the work was like, hey, wait, I want to be shop steward because that's the last one that gets laid off. I remember clearly that that was the mentality. So th well, nobody understood what the fuck it was, way. So it was really easy for these people thinking back now to take our union dues and not really do anything for us because we didn't have the 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 information of like this is what they're supposed to do for us we were more i was just wanting to work i really didn't give a but, shit but you did move up eventually to be uh union represented i was moved up and then eventually i went into the corporate side of it too that i was uh, the union was under where i was at so i, I started at 850 and i ended up into the union and then i ended up being In management management Okay, so while you were in, okay, all right, so, oh, oh. so it must have been part of the co of the contract or, or the bargaining that, you know, the specific task or re union represented anything below it is not, 
And if you go management, then you're automatically no longer you're represented. No longer, yes. But, so if I did some of their jobs, they would be upset because that's a union job. Yeah. Like even if something that's moving a pallet, it's just it more like, oh, I can't touch that. So a lot of that, then a lot of guys fucking use that to fucking jack no, that, off with yeah. it too. Oh, no, I'm not a union, bro. I'm out of here. So it's like a lot of <laughs> like that. But I get it, way. I mean, if they're there to protect the, the job and uh, people's work, way, then I mean... Yeah. If it's a good thing, it's a good thing. But I'm saying or, if, if or they, create jobs también, you know, like to them. But I'm saying if they don't have the right information, they're not they're just gonna think that it's something to protect them, but they're not gonna know how to utilize properly the same way when I was a kid way that I just thought the what the fuck is this? It's just something that's there that's taking my money and I don't even see them doing anything for me. So if there's anything that you take from this conversation, Shufflers, is if you're in a union, ask questions, find out about what your union does and how they represent you and how they could work out for you. And two, aim for being shop steward because they're the last ones to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to go to the meetings. Yeah, you got to go to the meetings. So, you got to get so that, that little that, that was also that mentality. Oh, I don't want to do that. I got to go to meetings. Fuck that. Yeah, so, I got shit to do. But even general, even not, people listening to this that are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Even just asking questions is a good fucking habit yeah. to get, man. Don't just take shit that people are telling you or don't think... Oh, it's a stupid question or, oh, I don't want to cause problems. Fuck that, dude. Fucking ass. Where Like, there's no... Because then we start assuming shit. And then it's like, once you finally get the courage to ask somebody something, then you realize, fuck, wait, it's totally different than what I thought, where But a fucking idiot. But, nah, don't listen to me, man. Just, <laughs> All right. Ponle la banda. Orale, <coughs> raza. So we got to that point in the podcast. Conocimos a ratos with that, eh? But before we go, um, este August 27th, we're going to, well, not we, I mean, so my grito is uh, introducing or, or having a, an event for one of the bands, Matamoscas at Border X in the city of Bell. Bell. All right. So para que le caigan, um, va a ser un sábado, agosto 27. All right. Check them out. Va a haber pinche, va a haber música. Va a haber pisto, va a haber baile, va a haber fucking, va a haber desmadre. No son para que le caigan. We might be there. I'm not gonna say it's be a surprise. So if you show up, you might see us or you might not. All right, I'm just it's a teaser, Bernie. It's called a teaser. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So I pa que sepan it's August 27th. If you got nothing to do, no plans or whatever, you're like, hey, pues este sábado no tengo nada que hacer. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Hey. Cagan la border X. Hey, wait. What's the what's the etiquette if I meet my idol like you? Where if I'm listening to this and like, I'm like, man, one day I wanna I wanna meet that guy and shake his hand. And then and I see you at this event. What's the proper etiquette? Where, how, how do I address you? Can I, I just come out randomly up to you and, and grab your ass no. and say me nalguita no. and all this shit? No. <laughs> no. What's the proper etiquette? It's just like, hey, idol. how's it going? A little fist bump or a little handshake, dependiendo. Fucking una foto, Simon, como no. But no fucking ass grabbing or. I don't know you like that. What, what's the what's the general like time frame of the interaction? Well, depending. A minute, I mean, two minutes? No, no, depending. Like, I mean, si me ves platicando con alguien or there's something going on or lo que sea, if. You know, uh, somehow end up, you know, catching your attention or you catch my attention and we start talking, then it's cool. And, you know, sometimes the conversation may go fucking five, ten minutes. It's happened. What if what if the what if this guy or girl is looking at you and you, you lock eyes and then you, you're going like this, like, what's up? And then you're like, what's oh, up? Shit, but then it's like, it's not you. you. Fernie's right behind you and that's who they're talking to. But you think it's you because oh, you're the star. Yeah, I would be embarrassed, <laughs> but then I would, <laughs> vengan, I'll jump in before they go to with Fernie. Hey, you know, we, we need to get this guy for the, for the event. We need to get those those carniceria numbers so people can <laughs> another line where another place in line where 836 oh you are right, 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 right. Right. Que, you got two que, minutes que, que <laughs> you, you get to sit on Santa's lap no. No. <laughs> Ramon no. shows up and sets up his own little stand and repeat thing the right. banner <laughs> puts his number it, it, he thinks he's in Comic Con where one has a mess with his shit to outside with his merch and then I got my sharpie uh, <laughs> the Ramon fan club uh, yeah, the no. Ramoncito fan so, club so August 27th Border X Mata Mosca uh, make plans, set it up, get the raza going. Uh, I'm sure you can find all the information if you go to my grito. And I think we eventually we might post do a little uh, story. <laughs> eventually, <on> it. this is. <laughs> I gotta work on that one. All right, so that was uh, August 27th, and then uh, Fernie and I, I went on Tuesday. Oh, well, today 
Uh, we're gonna be on oh, YouTube, that's right. YouTube Live, Twitch. We're gonna be on uh, West Coast Pop and oh, Lock shit. podcast. We're gonna be supporting the strippers yeah. that want to unionize. He says. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll medieval be at times. The, ¿Cómo se llama? The one by Alex. The, the oh, girls, the girls, girls. girls. Oh, oh yeah, the girls. Team, Teamster uh, 69, 69 is their number. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so tonight, Local 69. Tonight, I could already see the merch. <laughs> Local 69. <laughs> Tonight at 8 on YouTube West Coast Pop and Lock uh, Check oh, yeah. it out Fernando and I will be there With Super Steve Flores And the cast from the podcast Or all those members of the yeah, podcast homies. Yeah so check that out um, Raza Well más bien Shufflers Help us out You know like uh, Yeah no because you know Fuck no tenemos AC wey La cabrón we need, we need Patreon supporters. We already, uh, already hit up uh, my grito, but you know they're they're dragging their feet on this one. My grito's yeah. fucking uh, hanging out in Cabo. I know they're over there <laughs> showing no vacaciones all the time, <laughs> showing off their nipples and shit. <laughs> hey, hey, my grito, Ramon has a new request. He needs a new fucking Costco size of talco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Gold Bond, Johnson Johnson, whatever. Lo que sea, pero que, que, que refresque. Cause ya se me está acabando el mío. And none of that medicated shit he says. No, man. because nah. it burns. Yeah, it burns. He has that sort of skin. I do. He grew up in the house. <laughs> Three bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> a restroom and a half. Oh, yeah, funny, yeah. So, Rasa, you know, you want to help us out or anything, go to Patreon. You'll find the link on our Instagram page. También, uh, cafecito. Fucking hit us up. I know that the summer is a little bit slow. Everybody, like, it's spending pal frio. But you know what? You could also do iced coffees, right? You could do cold brews. También. So, we could hook you up. Go to uh, istasa.com or if you go to the link, it'll send you right to it. And you see, we have cafecitos right there, right? We got our Mexico, we got our Costa Rica, we got our Buena Onda, we got Colombian, and we got Guatemala. All right? So, again, una orden ayudaría un chingo. All right? Uh, other than that, there might be a possibility to keep your ears open. Maybe Fern is going to work on it. But if when you see, if you see the immigrant made shirt pop up, jump on it. Because I know we get a lot of requests, but those only come out first. For special occasions or special events so it's not like a you know you could go on to the site and get it wait if that comes up fucking jump on it i'm just saying it's like our car wash shirt bro yeah cuando, cuando algo pasa. there's also <laughs> there's also talks of a live event coming up so keep an eye on that yeah you can't share any details um i got uh september 17th i'm gonna be playing with oh, bringing it back to my grito uh, there's an artist on that label named Maria Sanchez, and I've been kind of working with her. Well, not kind of. I've been fucking working with her, uh, writing some music and um, just kind of getting the live band going. So we have a gig September 17th at this place called The Goldfish in um, Highland Park. Uh, there's going to be a, one of the bigger bands called Los Yesterdays is playing. Um, it's like a, it's going to be a cool little show, man. I can't wait to get back on stage. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, Follow her on Instagram, Maria Sanchez, or look up the Goldfish, and uh, it's September 17th. We'll be on around maybe 8, 30, 9 o'clock. So that's going to be fun. September 17th. September 17th, yeah. All right, so van a estar crudos from the day after fucking la independencia de Mexico. So, you know, get a little nice music going on. Fucking that's the place to be at. Um, there you for that. Anything else, Freddy? We got anything that I might have missed? Uh, did we put in all our requests to Magrito? Well, we got the talco. We keep asking for the AC. He uh, offered a fan, bro. He offered you a fan. Yeah, yeah but he's but talking about him. He's a fan. We want to sit right uh, here and watch us. Yeah, like watch us. <laughs> well, well, That's know. creepy, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. We don't need a sweaty he's dude in the corner. Do he's going to do a topless, Oscar too. has some weird demand sometimes. I'm not going to lie. What? His nipples or him? <laughs> Both. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> He's, he's probably not listening to this right now as we're recording it, but his nipples are getting hard and he's wondering why. <laughs> <laughs> he's got goosebumps on his goosebumps right now. Must be his AC. <laughs> <laughs> the cold AC. Yeah. Like, I can't 
Rodrigo hace. Acá mientras nosotros. Eh, I don't know, bro. All this, sorry, bro. All this Teamster talk. We got to unionize for the Magrito way. Right? Yeah, gotta, definitely. Let's I get the We need to get the Teamsters up in this bitch, hey. bro. I'll so give them another get shot. All the bands I'll give them another shot, bro. We'll, we'll recruit all the bands from Magrito. Uh, tonight, Freddy and I will work with the West Coast Pop and Lock. I know Ramon wants to be the shop steward. Uh, he wants to be the like, last man standing. You, you can't lay it off last. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about unionizing, Magrito. Bro. Fuck it, eh? Yeah, hey, you down? Si se puede. We got to pick it uh, in front of headquarters. Right, wait. No way, si. No podcast. No way, si. No podcast. No way, si. No podcast. We no do we want it. We do want it now. When do we want it? We want it now. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of like, 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 like this union shit, wey. Fuck yeah. It's a relax, wey. Fuck yeah, bro. I'm ready to break some shit. <laughs> I wey. Conveniently, someone put some bricks right there, wey. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh. So yeah, yo yero, eh? Fucking uh, sí September, September 17th in Highland Park. So the name of the band? Uh Maria Sanchez. Yeah, and the name of the place? It's called The Goldfish. The Goldfish. We're playing with uh check them out, man. It's called Los Yesterdays. They're a band that um started in Pasadena. They do like that soul beats, kinda old soul vibes. I'm pretty good, man. It's going to be interesting. All right. So September 17th, the gold, Goldfish in Highland Park. Uh, be there or be square. August August 27th. Do people at, say that in the suburbs? Yeah, they do. That's a, that's a 50s fucking that's, gem right there. Be there or be square. That's some homeownership, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <laughs> we didn't use that shit in the room, bro. My parents never used that, bro. <laughs> no one in the apartments I lived in says. August 27th, Porter Mata Moscas. All right? And tonight on YouTube, Twitch, uh, it's the uh, West Coast Pop and Lock. Fernando and I will be there. Yeah, Esteban dijo. Well, that's just some. Um, to be honest with you guys, uh, I'm, I'm I'm working a lot with those songs this week uh, and for the next months. So it's kind of a lot on my plate. Where yeah. um, so, Fernie so, and I will go represent. Yeah, we got your back. I know you guys do it. All right. So, all right. Y con eso, todos decimos adiós y se la lavan. All right. Al rato se tiene.